Why did I just read, I like turtles? <laughs> Guys, what's up? Welcome back and happy Saturday. I have been thinking it has been Sunday all day today. I don't know what's going on. It just feels like one of those days, but welcome back in. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy to play Ori in the Blind Forest. I honestly was thinking about this. If I wasn't ending stream, I think, oh, mods, hold me to this. I need to be done at 6.30 p.m. Eastern because that will give me a little bit of time to just make some popcorn and stuff before movie night. But if we didn't have movie night, I was thinking about it. I was like, I might just have finished the game all tonight. I say that now. I know full well I would not be able to actually do it. Although I always have these like dreams of getting back to the days where I would just play like 10 hours straight, not on stream, but just, you know, when you have those days that all you do is play games. I miss that. I want that. <laughs> and I feel like Ori is like the perfect grind game because it doesn't feel like a grind. It's just so beautiful. But seriously, welcome back in Dekion. Welcome back in Raging. Hello. A decky on again. Falky, hello. Falk, your dog is so adorable. I love when you guys post those pictures and it looked beautiful as well. I'm so jealous that the, it seemed like somewhere kind of close to be able to walk your dog. So that's such an um, awesome thing to have. So definitely don't take it for granted. It doesn't seem like you do. Um, and we need more dog pictures in the Discord. We do. And more cat pictures. Speaking of cats, I have two fun things to update you guys on. So Buck, welcome back in, by the way. Halo soon and <clears throat> I'm gonna keep adding Halo to the polls to see how long you guys will keep this up. I still feel utterly betrayed by y'all, truthfully. <laughs> I still haven't recovered. I put my trust in y'all and you let me down. Natty, welcome back in and welcome back in. 630, hold me to it, please. J Rod, hello, and welcome back in. Mello, what is she playing? Wait, were you not here yesterday? For some reason, my mind is tricking me. I thought you were here yesterday, but yes, Mello, I'm back at Ori in the Blind Forest. If you remember the last time I started to play it and then I stopped, but we pretty much caught up to where I was. So I think I could probably switch to first playthrough if one of my mods don't mind changing the title to just first playthrough and part two, because I always forget to update that. Um, <laughs> Fred's welcome back in servers. Hello, Brunsta, where have you been? Brunsta, welcome back in five series maths. Y'all, it feels weird to be starting at 3 p.m. I'm also excited. I hope I see some more of my EU peeps as well. Germ, yeah, Falky, this is probably early for you. Germ the worm, what's up, Welcome back in. Y'all, I did two fun things today. I'm so excited. I should have known it wasn't a Sunday. I think it's because I normally run out and do like chores on Sundays, I guess. But I have an update in the neighbor wars, the decoration neighbor wars. And then I also got the cutest things for Ginger's birthday. Look at this. Let's potty. Well, wait, not potty, but like, Okay, maybe that could be misconstrued. Uh, let's follow. <laughs> They need to rethink this. Long story short, uh, Target had some cat stuff. However, let's paw. <laughs> I th it's all dog stuff, but they didn't have cat stuff. Party City didn't have anything, so went to Target. So they had these cute balloons. So that's going to be for Ginger's birthday on Monday. And then I found this cute little it's my birthday necktie. It's all dog stuff. But, you know, you could just do a little strap around Ginger's neck. I'm sure it will be fine. <laughs> I know. I don't know why it's paw, paw, let's potty, let's paw. They really did not think that went through. I see what they were trying to accomplish. I don't think it hit the mark. <laughs> it's, but I thought this time I wouldn't get birthday balloons and spell it happy birthday because you guys know last time the T and the H popped. So it was just happy birthday. So <laughs> I feel like I have a curse with these balloons. So we'll see if they actually inflate. Plus, I feel like the paws could look like cat paws. And then I also grabbed the cutest little bag. It just says happy per day. So it's like this. She hasn't seen it yet. So I need to make sure that I hide this before she comes back into the room. But you guys have done a, a decent amount, especially Sith Lord with donations for cat treats and tuna. So I'm going to give this to her from y'all on Monday with a bunch of tuna and cat treats for her. So that's what I've got planned for that. I'm really excited. Oh, I should have gotten normal balloons and drew cat paws on it. 
Man, I guess I could have gotten, oh, we could do like different cats on the balloons. Okay, I'll look into getting normal balloons that I can draw on as well. But I'm also working on, I practiced having the cam up and so I just gotta get her to stay over here. She doesn't wanna stay in this room, you guys. I think she's annoyed by y'all or by it. <laughs> She has no idea about you guys. It's definitely me. She hates me. Let's be honest. Um, we donating to make her eat balloons. Wait, no, Zodi, not at all. No, it's just a lot of you guys have donated for treats and things like that. So I bought a ton of it, like a year's worth of cat treats and tuna for her to have. So I'm going to let her, you know, I'm going to take it out and show her. I don't know. I've never done a whole lot of celebrating for her birthday, but sweet 16. I feel like we got to go all out, you know? <laughs> Add more seriously welcome back in. I like turtles. Sub chat. I hope you're having a good weekend. Seriously, I hope everyone's off to a good weekend. I hope everybody had a great Friday night. Let me know what you guys did. Are you guys doing anything exciting for the end of it feels like summer's already coming to an end. I don't know if anybody else is like this, but it's been really oddly cold. Like it feels like fall where I'm at and I'm not used to that, but I'm not opposed to it. I still am ready for like cold, cold weather. I love jackets and all of that. So five series, welcome back in. Paul, hello. I gotta update you guys on the neighbor war as well. Every sub we put a sticker on Ginger. Oh, she would be so mad. She would be livid. I like sometimes will jokingly put a sticker that I pull off and something on her and she just like, it's like her back. All, you know, when you see the cat's hair just like all stand up, it's hilarious. But she, oh, y'all are trying to get me to get my eyeballs scratched out she already tries to suffocate me on a daily basis by sitting on my chest when i'm sleeping and then looking down at me i i keep trying to get you guys a video or a picture so y'all can see just how devious she looks when she does it but all the time there's not enough light coming into the camera and i don't want to flash right in her face i feel like that's just rude it's just downright rude Paul, seriously, welcome back in. Fawn Fano, welcome back in. Ghoulish, hello. Lakeatron, hi. Uh, sorry, don't apologize for it. I just liked it. It reminded me of this story where this we were introducing ourselves when I first joined uh, the Air Force. And this kid's just like, I like planes. But it was the most monotone thing ever. And that's all I think about when people are like, I like xyz so don't apologize cosmac welcome back in happy saturday bootless fit hello to bug halo cat soon oh what if there was like i i never get outfits for ginger because i feel like outfits for pets are such a waste it's like used for just a picture while i have a necktie for her for monday but oh i still oh man i think yesterday you guys got me thinking about the lion mane too to put around her but <laughs> i thought it'd be so cute to have like a little master chief onesie for ginger oh my god that would be awesome thanks for your wait wait actually play thanks for saving my day actually playing one of my favorite games <laughs> i love how you're like actually as opposed to all the other games that i play <laughs> be heavens what's up welcome into the channel and the community and thank you for the follow bootless bit again welcome back in justin hello devow oh my god i'm losing it i'm definitely losing it right now i feel like whenever i never I haven't talked at all, all day, up until this moment, so I forget how to talk. <laughs> Hibachery, what's up? Welcome back in. Atlantis, hello. Zodi, you haven't played this work of art yet? So I started it, and I feel like there is a negative connotation with graveyard games, but it's not indicative of whether or not I just disliked a game and threw it in there. There are other factors I will have you know. And so the factor with this game was I started this last year. If you guys are new to the channel, you don't know this, but I just started the tradition of doing 12 games of Christmas. So I try to, I basically challenge the chat to see if I can complete 12 games before Christmas. That being said, I always take, I usually leave around the 17th or 18th to go spend two weeks away with my family. So it gives me 17 days to finish 12 games. So <laughs> I think last year I left on the 23rd or something. So I had a little bit more time, but we'll see if it works. But so last year I started this game and I just, I didn't feel like I was giving it justice. Sit your ass down. I really didn't feel like I was doing this game justice. I was rushing it. And then I also was getting frustrated by how long it was taking me. So this year, I actually strategically mapped out all 12 games. And I think they're all beatable within a single um, a single stream. So we'll see if it actually works. You can't speed her on a first playthrough. Absolutely not. And I didn't want to do that. So that's why it went into the graveyard games was because I just 
pop that one away, but I hadn't come back to it. And so in light of throwing a new game into the graveyard system, I thought we would discard a card to draw a card. So we're going to like pull this one out while we throw the other one in, you know, Matthew, seriously, welcome back in Elson, your hello to Hibotchery, Draxai, Ubiquitous, hello, as well, and Quirky Clog, hi, Desauce, Brensta, Surgery Recovery. Okay, I remember you, I thought you mentioned something like that, but I hope it's going well. Are you getting through, like, some games in your recovery or anything, or taking some time to watch some shows? Am I emotionally prepared for this? For which part? Yuvis, welcome back in. You gotta put it, Kings, is, I'm assuming KH is Kingdom, is it Kingdom Hearts or Heart? I always think I try to throw on like an S onto it. I've never played Kingdom Hearts. I know you guys talk about that. And then yes, also, if you guys are following along with the Walking Dead series on YouTube, that's going to be going up at seven o'clock tonight, the same time that we go live with the movie. Um, so I think I've kind of finally decided that I'll be doing uploads on Tuesdays and Saturdays. Um, but the time might fluctuate on that on which day or like on what time during the day. 8 p.m. basically morning for me. <laughs> You have such a flip-flop schedule. It's insane. Oh my god, that means that Minecraft night was so late for you. UK-friendly stream-ish. I feel like this is kind of UK-friendly. When I was playing Elden Ring, I did start streaming around 2 or 3 a lot more. Oh my gosh, it's CP or something. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel and the community as well. I said, Potty, I know. You gave, in to balloon you gave it balloons to murder. I gave what balloons to murder? Why was it the first thing I saw? <laughs> the potty when you read it it's fine when you say it however exactly collision welcome back and by the way and uh toxic welcome back too that's exactly what this is they did not think this through but the paw's cute and you know it's <laughs> it's the best i could do for a cat stream <laughs> I didn't like the selection on Amazon. Amazon did not pull through on that one. I was kind of disappointed. I normally, I feel like now I really do try to just order stuff online so I don't have to go out and see people. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Drugs. <laughs> what does it say? Is it for ginger? Hold on. Ginger party fund. Hashtag attack. <laughs> Seriously, Drax, thank you so much for the donation. I will definitely put in extra cat treats. I really will. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Ginger appreciates it because that cat goes through so many treats. You guys think that I only give her treats whenever y'all say stuff or whenever you guys do the redemption. It's not true. She always gives me the, the cat eyes, like the, the, what is the uh, cat from Shrek? Hey. Puss in Boots. Always the Puss in Boots eyes. Serena Senpai, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel and community. So, we're real quick before we start, because you guys know that my intros, like this, I, if I caught back up to chat right now, oh, okay, hold on. Let me, let me catch a couple more before I tell you guys the story of the day. <laughs> Mello, seriously, it's so great to see you again, Trax. Thank you so much, truly. You got a pokey Okay, I saw that. I saw that. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. Justin B, welcome back in. Collision again, welcome back in. Um, ch make her eat balloons. What would you think? Speaking of eating, what kind of pizza do you want today? I, why do you always do this to me? I will say today I did wake up. I think it's something about it being the weekend, but Texas Roadhouse sounds so good. There's just no way I can grab it in time for the movie and i'm not about to order texas roadhouse it's not the same thing the last time i trusted you guys that on that and i ordered texas roadhouse to go the floppy pick the 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 fried pickles were floppy pickles because they were disgusting when they got to me and the rolls were all cold and it was just dark dark times there's been a heat wave here for the past three weeks. Oh, that sounds like Texas or something. Babes, welcome back in, by the way. Oh, that's awful. I hope your AC is pumping out. I hope it's putting in some hard work right now. My kittens are spoiled. They don't like treats. What? What do they eat then? Jay Rainey, welcome back in, by the way. And thank you. I appreciate it. Also, just FYI, everybody knows uh, the overalls mean bathroom breaks are going to take a little bit longer. <laughs> just so we're all on the same page so there's no unrealistic expectations here um cosmic the weather feels so great today i need to start walking more i have it in my like 
can't believe I'm saying this, but I put like take a walk on my to do list because otherwise I just don't make it happen, especially first thing in the morning before it gets too hot. But I guess like I don't like going for walks in the middle of the summer, but fall, I'll definitely take a bunch of walks if I can or actually drive to a park. I know that's like drive to a park to walk, but it just feels nicer when you have a beautiful atmosphere to walk to. Kaiser, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel and community as well. So real quick, I wanted to update you guys over Hesse. Welcome back in Kirk. Welcome back in GPS. Welcome back in what's up what's this new game it is a masterpiece if you guys have never played ori in the blind forest stop watching the stream go play it for yourself you need to experience it i know telling us to stop watching stream <laughs> but i truly feel like everybody needs to deserve that or deserves to play through with like no spoilers and are as organic as possible because it is truly one of the most beautiful games i i can probably say that i've played i'm trying to think if there's something i mean fable but like what's new you know but like what's new <laughs> toxic streamer telling her viewers to f off okay michael's hair now has its own zip code <laughs> it's a mess do you see you know the joke of this all do you guys even know what he sits on so first of all michael two stories for today a normal person would just go to a craft store and get one of the styrofoam heads right but when have we ever been normal he sits on a bug zone. <laughs> it's like a thing to a patio shield mosquito protection. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I haven't even opened this thing. I just, it's what it is. <laughs> so, you know, one day maybe I'll actually upgrade him to having an actual, <laughs> like, that's why sometimes it's blue. Right? <laughs> I'm a mess. <laughs> normal it can't work if it's in the box i'm not trying to have it work it's it's warding off the dark spirits that would take over that mask and have it come attack me in the middle of the night put lipstick on it <laughs> this is our maggie this is our <laughs> so uh, one more story in light of um great things so the updates on the neighbor wars this is what 20 2022 neighbor wars uh neighbor strikes back right um i outplayed myself this time i truly feel like i outplayed myself so if you guys are new to the channel or you haven't been here i'm an aggressive decorator around holidays but so is my neighbor and so I don't think she knows we're in competition, but last year she declared war on me when she put out four hay barrels when I had f two. And then the next day she put out four hay barrels. So that was basically like declaring war on me. Well, we're actually friends. So I don't think I feel like there is a competition, but, you know, like friends always have friendly competition. Um, no, I didn't play myself. I asked her to go Halloween decorating shopping with me. So I know what all of her decorations are. And I just I just made up excuses. I was like, mm, I'm just not feeling these. And I saw every single thing she bought for the patio. And this was so good. <laughs> now, I'm sure she'll add more to the decoration and the setup. But I know what to expect now. And I can outperform i can do better it was all under the ruse of being her friend and going to get decorations i am her friend we're actually she's like my best friend but <laughs> this is true espionage and it's fine <laughs> yes this is good <laughs> all right anyways that was my story for today what if she knows and it's reverse psychology? She would only know, I think, if she, one, was able to hear. If she was outside right now playing cornhole, she probably could hear me talking about this. Or two, if she watched my streams. But I don't think she does. I'm fairly certain she doesn't. So I think we're safe. I think we're safe. And this is going to go down so well. And I have to say that I have a secret weapon. I took her to, like, a home goods store. But I have like the mother of all stories of great decorations. So this will be good. I'm going to go all out. There's no stops this time. Last year, she might have won Halloween, but this year I will come back stronger than ever.
Yes, I will 100% put it on. You know what? Last year, I didn't do this. I'll try to get a picture of hers and then take a picture of mine. And you guys can tell me who won. It'll be like epic rap battles, but it's epic neighbor wars 2022. Who you decide who won. <laughs> who won. Stein, <laughs> Stein Machen, welcome back in. Sith Lord, welcome back in. I'm scrolling. <laughs> I take too much pleasure in this. I know what you're thinking. Get a life. But I feel like this is truly living. This is what it feels like <laughs> to be a homeowner. You are in for a surprise this October. You guys have no idea what you're getting into. That's what I'm here for. Imaginary fights with... <laughs> she has no idea that this has been going on, that I have been... I have felt slighted by her coming back with four barrels of hay versus my two barrels for the longest time. This will go down on my gravestone. But I had more hay <laughs> barrels. All right, so I think I missed a ton of people. Hendrix, welcome back in. Doug, welcome back in. Outer Worlds is not done. I stopped it because I just didn't like it. And I'm not going to sit here and play a game that I don't like. Um, despite the completion side of me, I know I was relatively close to the end. I think there's quotations around that. But I just wasn't enjoying it. So I moved on to Ori in the Blind Forest. And then Monday, we're doing different games for Ginger's birthday. Corver, welcome back in. Yeah, I've I've always loved doing that. Uh, Mick, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel and community. I've always loved doing the 12 games of Christmas, the one year I've done it. I always talk like I've been doing these things for like 12 years, but I did it last year and I really enjoyed it because it got me to play through games that were a little bit shorter that never make the play immediately list. Um, and it kind of it's kind of like playing indies for 12 days in a row. And I actually really like that. Um, because I don't just play triple A's despite what it looks like a lot of times. Uh, get a nose job, basically. The na nasal valve collapsed. Oh, my. Did they do anything different? Yeah. It, it fixed your deviated septum. Yep. Yeah. Uh, my brother actually had something similar. And then they also, like, reconstructed his nose a little bit, too. But I'm hoping that the recovery is going well. And it's really great to see you back in here, Brunsta. I had to watch some good anime. Wait, wait. I had to watch some good anime. Any recommendations? I got to get back into anime. It's been a long time since I've seen anything. Hey, I just am rewatching shows I already have been into. The Life Sampler, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel and community. And Doug, I also saw your message and I'm uploading the next Walking Dead series episode tonight. So Kingdom Hearts game is so good. I feel like that one hasn't been recommended as much, but I wonder if people just don't, it's not a game that like pops into your head until somebody else suggests it. And then you re remember how good it was. Mike, what's up? Welcome back in. All right. So Spring Shield, welcome back in. Ali, hello. Nori, hi. Duism, the storm we're having right now almost gave me a heart attack. How so? Lots of lightning and thunder or like, are we talking about tornado here? Is it Twister out there? Blue, <laughs> blue bees -dees. I need to make sure it's let's say I survived blue knees. Blue knees are real. Outside is scary. It's where, <laughs> it's where the people are. I played it back in the day on PS2. Favorite childhood game. Aren't there multiple Kingdom Hearts? Because I, I thought a new one came out relatively recently. Homo sapien, what's up? Welcome back in. Yes, we're back. Back at it again with a new game. And Roth, welcome back in. Texas Roadhouse, I know. The movie tonight is Prey. So you guys have talked about it so much. The, the scoop is I have not seen the original Predators, but... Most of you guys said that I could start with Prey and then work my way up from there because it is a, a I say a precursor, it's a prequel, correct? I think. Yeah, everybody, I feel like so many of you guys have already seen it. I think I'm the only one who hasn't seen it at this point. And then I also am writing it into the books. You guys know October, we're doing the Halloween movie marathon, but... I think November and December, I want to do Harry Potter movie marathon. So like the first four movies in November on like an all day kind of marathon. And then the last four movies uh, in December. So that's kind of like my idea for that. And then I have to find a time to do a Lord of the Rings marathon, but it's got to be 4K in the extended edition. So I have to carve out two hours or two days of my life to just stream it in the discord, you know, <laughs> drag. What's up? Welcome back in. There's no flap in overalls for easy bathroom access. I hate to say it, but uh, I don't believe so. Not on these bad boys, at least. <laughs> they eat tuna mostly. They don't like dry food. Uh, yo, the kittens. They are very spoiled. Okay. Referable. Welcome back in. Organic Andrew. Hello, London. Welcome back in. Captain Thickrod. Um, I got to hydrate here for my own sake. 
I like when the streamer tells me to F off. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. I just, I know you guys, I mean, y'all know yourselves better if you're going to actually play the game or not, but it just is such a beautiful game to play for the first time for yourself. Don't watch the stream. What is this opposite day? <laughs> I just don't want to ruin your immersion. I think that's why such a long time ago, I really decided that I wasn't going to play a whole lot of games right on release because I just have more fun when you guys are here. And I know I don't want to like ever. I, I'm so against spoilers. I feel like I'd be playing against myself if I'm out here providing spoilers day one. Way too dank. <laughs> Classic. Mr. Mojo, welcome back in London again. Chart, hello to MVI, welcome back in. All right. So that's why he has those beautiful blue eyes. Yes, it is. It is a mosquito catcher that is ca capturing your heart, implying you wouldn't love it if the mask came alive and attacked you in your sleep. You know, I thought about this a lot, but I scream like a baby whenever Michael Myers is chasing me in DVD. And my brother one time put that mask on and I knew it was my brother. I wholeheartedly knew it was my brother. And it still freaked me out. It's something, you know, seeing him without a rest of a body and the ability to walk after me, it makes me feel a little bit safer. But yes, I think I'll be keeping Michael Myers in a screen and less in person if possible. Although Universal Studios does have the the original house walkthrough haunt this October, I think, where you can actually have Michael Myers chase you. Oh man, Jerkoto, I'm not saying that right at all, but thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel and community. Now cast is stalking people, sigh. <laughs> I would never. Z-rated, welcome back in, by the way. James, welcome back in. I've truly outdone myself this holiday season. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start pulling it up while I slowly catch up. But 30 minutes, you guys, these are, we're actually making record timing record timing coming up here uh this is your neighbor you just played yourself <laughs> i have i could probably say with a hundred percent confidence that i don't i i truly don't think she would ever see my stream like ever look it up a hundred percent confidence i'm willing to bet on that uh i only have so many games downloaded so i know it's here somewhere there we go also would it be a spoiler like would you guys have to provide spoilers if you answered what the definitive edition offered over the original? Maybe I'm not understanding what it provides it. Because I know a lot of people were commenting on it because I was using the definitive version for the Walking Dead Telltale series too. Which the only noticeable change... Uh, I don't know if I can speak to that yet. I did see that there were like the dark shaders were there or whatever. I'm in for a surprise. <laughs> I will win hands down, hands down. Yes. Johnny, what's up? Welcome back in. It's like American Psycho with the business cards. <laughs> we want a tiny witch hat for Ginger. Oh, of course, of course. Skills, welcome back in. Be heavens, hello. Um, I will be right back. I'm allergic to you guys. Hold on. I know. Oh, but I did get two really cute decorations that I have to grab at I almost said halftime, but I have to grab at my break because you guys need to see how adorable this is. Rex, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel and community. Cast are waiting for the release of Ori 3. Okay, first of all, we still have the second one to play as well. Are you kidding me? Barrels or bales? Bales? Bales. No, they were just bundles. They weren't even, I don't think, I don't think they were bales. I don't know. I have to show you guys the picture, except that I saved my two hay barrels or they're, yeah, they're like squares. I saved mine from last Halloween and I was told that it's a really bad idea to store those. First of all, it's better to just go ahead and buy new ones because they're, they're dirt cheap anyway. But somebody told me that they're spider havens and now I'm scared to even touch the hay barrels from last year. <laughs> I can just tell, like, first of all, I feel like my my garage is just a breeding zone for spiders and i spray the spider anti-stuff all like all over the perimeter and i keep finding them and it's terrifying they took the cartilage from the septum to fix the valve oh wow shouldn't be that bad anymore when allergies hit oh was that mainly what was causing the flare-up and issues with the allergies there are 10 kingdom hearts games i am so far behind awesome 
purses. Thank you so much for the tier one sub for three months in advance. Oh my God, that's a lot of faith. I always say this when you guys do the advanced stuff. Oh my, <laughs> seriously, Persis, thank you so much. And I'm glad to see you're enjoying the channel and the community. What am I trying to do? Thank you. And is that French frog? You want purple? Purple? That's so much purple in the background, but I'm kind of here for it. <gasps> Did you see that perfect orange color? Oh, <gasps> wait, allow me just one happy moment for a second. Hold on. <gasps> Wait, wait, where was it? Where is it? Okay, that's like red. Where was it? Okay. Hold on. Spooky vibes. <laughs> I think Chris, I guess oh, we can even do it for St. Patrick's Day too. Wait, that's oddly really nice. The like light orange color. I love how I'm looking at it through the OBS and not, um, it isn't too, wait, wait, it isn't too late to prevent the spider. It, yeah. I mean, I know. I'm not using those hay barrels again. I just have to figure out a time when um, I can extract the barrels from... <laughs> what color did you say? <laughs> Purple. I'm getting there. There we go. There's so many different versions of it. There we go. I think that's like purplish. We'll go for it. Time to get the flamethrower. We have to burn everything down. You saw how big that one spider was in the in the front horrifying nightmare fuel truly landlock what's up welcome back in um i know i know in my heart that spiders are good it's not a principle of whether spiders are good or not it's the fact that it's living in my house and not paying rent okay that's what it comes down to let's be honest as making her neighbor sound like a souls games boss <laughs> oh it's true she's truly like my best friend which is why it's it's even better it's just my competitive nature and i just you can't tell me that i put out barrels and then you're saying a couple days later there's like more barrels on her house that's not like a trump card i feel like that was like a let me just dig this in a little deeper true shooter welcome back in by the way all right i think i'm finally caught up for the most part so have no fear cast a recap is here i hope you guys are ready to get cozy and comfy because i think is it really only three hours i guess ooh, i guess today is going to be a little bit of a shorter stream but tomorrow will be a longer stream i will i can definitely do a longer stream tomorrow because i think i start at three anyways um so yeah today i guess we'll see how much progress i get done let me go to the map for you guys uh yes i'm so excited this maybe this game will be able to counteract all of the negative thoughts and feelings that i get at two in the morning when i look into my closet and i think i see blue knees i truly feel like this can make the happiness come back into my dreams and the tea did work up until about 4 30 in the morning so i slept fine up until 4 30 and then i kept waking up so i don't know what's going on but I still watched a couple shows right before bed, so I need to just, I think I need to read until I fall asleep instead of watching stuff before sleep. And the sequel will learn what happened in Ginger's Tale. <laughs> we'll never know what really happened to Ginger's Tale, will we now? Add more thanks for the hydrate, by the way. Mm. You did. Mr. Mojo, where are your manners? And add more and devow with the hydrate. Saber, welcome back in. I like the hour-long intros. You like the intros that are this 40 minutes. It's been 37 minutes. If we can start at 40 minutes, that's record timing. Michael chases you at Halloween Horror Nights this year. Yes, they um, built a replica of the uh, Strode House. So yes, it, will, uh, it looks awesome. I wish I could go. Part of me wants to because I've never gone to Universal during... Well, I haven't been to Universal in a long time. Building into my whole... I feel more like a boomer than anything. Twister is my favorite ride there, hands down. I wonder if they even have Twister anymore. I wonder. The chat tax, friends. <laughs> Zeke, what's up, welcome in. Definitive edition added new areas and abilities. Okay, so there is like a significant difference in that. Thanks for letting me know. There's two sequels to this game. There's, so far I think there's just one sequel, correct? Are they working on a third one? I didn't know if they were. They're no longer hay bales, they're spider bales. <laughs> there are bales now. <laughs> Watch it be the breeding grounds. Like if there's, oh man, I can just see hundreds of spiders crawling out of them. <laughs> I don't like it. 
Isn't it too late to print? Okay, I saw that. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. The spray doesn't actually work because they walk over it and it doesn't get on their bodies. The sticky traps are the best thing for spiders. Okay, I will definitely... Wait, what about ants? Does the spray stuff work for ants then? Solid, welcome back in. French frog, hello too. And bees khakis. By that logic, that means that ginger is on thin ice. Look, that cat... I think I started to talk shit about it and say that she wasn't doing her her part in this house, but that cat provides so much. She might not pay monetarily, but she just is cute. You know, she's just there. <laughs> it's she also provides so much like love and pets and our pets <laughs> cuddles, I should say. Yeah. But it's been it's been the best of times. It's been the worst of times. Lately, she's on a kick of taking a massive dump while I'm midstream. So we'll see how long this keeps up for. OK, so <laughs> welcome back in, y'all. Happy Saturday. I'm going to give you guys the recap real quick. And then, yeah, it's just the two games so far. She does. She does provide the mental health support. All right. So as you can see, this is where we're at. If you. <laughs> This is the recap. This is where we are. No, so last stream we started the game and then we also finished the water temple. It's not actually called that. I just have so many memories and more, I guess, mental scarring from the water temple. However, we did finish the water tree part. And so we are now going into the windy valley of the wind is where we're at. So we're going to try to venture for our second piece of the pie. I don't know what's going on. I'm on a trivial pursuit kick, so bear with me. But I guess there's three pieces that we have to collect to be able to restore the light into the forest is kind of what I've gathered so far. I think that's on par. However, it's really cool. I think some of my favorite things, I was thinking about this last night. I love the skills that we're learning that you, you just acquire throughout your journey period. But then I also really love the ability tree. So where I'm at with the ability tree is I threw a ton into my attack power, big shocker. You guys know that I like to pack a powerful punch and the more damage you deal to them, the less chances and timing they have to hurt you. So that's my thought. Strong offense, weak defense, but it's OK. I'm also building into this because we did acquire the air dash, but I don't think we can actually use it yet because I've been trying to do it since I got it and it's not working. So if you guys know how to do it, definitely help a girl out um and then i started putting back into this tree i do believe we will be able to fully upgrade everything with a little bit of work i've never completed the game we're pretty much starting in a whole new area but based on where we've gotten in our tree just off of one piece and like one area i really do think that we'll have enough to complete it but we'll see so yeah we're in the wind area. Okay, bear with me for a second. I know I just played this last night, but... All right, I got it. All right, we're back. Ish. Back-ish. I know we have these birds too. What is it, why? I think to throw it back at him. Yeah. Brass knuckles in your prayers. <laughs> um, that's why you just wear a lot of rings and then it's kind of like a built-in. All right, so for the birds, I feel like the best thing is just launch them back. <laughs> it's so stupid and I feel like ah! it's not a horrible idea because it keeps tossing them Zachary Oaks thanks for the follow welcome to the channel and community the midstream ginger poop it never fails it never fails oh we also just okay so yeah 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 right before we enter this area we did discover the kind of stop attack so I love the game because so far we can go back to previous areas and unlock <gasps> like that. Hold on. OK, I actually do want to go do that before we continue over here. I like while it's aggravating in the moment because there's a huge side of me that wants to complete everything in the spot before moving on to the next. I actually really love being able to go back through. So right now we're going to go down, see where it says four on the map. I have enough to unlock that and huh more stuff is showing on the map than ever before hmm and over there too I think I would like to be as powerful as po I would like to be as powerful as possible before we go to this next thing I thought I was gonna land on the brambles 
<laughs> cannot tell me this isn't just like a happy game. There's always some small, there's always some small part missing in the map. Yeah. Getting 100% was really tilting in Hollow Knight. So we were just talking about that yesterday. Um, I think Soup, a couple of you guys were saying that it is easier to 100% Hollow Knight than this game because this game to 100% it, you do, I believe you, that's interesting. Um, I believe you have to, um, hmm. Sorry, I'm trying to think while I'm talking. It's never a good combo. Somebody was saying that you have to beat it on the one life mode to 100% this game. Mm. Mm. I feel like if we're gonna get back on this. Oh, that is sneaky. Okay. I don't think I can get it. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to. I think I'm gonna have to wait until I can jump up. I don't know. Yeah. All right, we're gonna have to come back there later. Whoa. All right. <laughs> I definitely jumped and landed on it. We actually have a lot of these little guys. All right, we're on the right path. Volgrim, what's up? Welcome in. I need a lot more health. It's up here, right? I've been there. You can see that I've been there and I've looked at it. But I've never gotten up there. Hmm. Maybe I- ah! Ruff, what's up? Welcome back in. I can't get up here. I just wasted this time. Or maybe not. Actually, look at that. Hold on. I think before I was never- I was never able to get up there, but I might be able to now. Uh, any chance of FFX re remaster Final Fantasy? <sighs> this will not come as a shocker, but for some people maybe. But yeah, I've never played a Final Fantasy game and I don't know how to get... Okay, much like the Fallout series, right? New Vegas was a great way to enter into that series because it got me to fall in love with it. So if you can get me into a game that will... Like, start me where you think I'll fall in love with the series, and then I will dive into the rest of them. But I've just never known where to start with the Final Fantasy series. All of this area I'm locked out of because I can't get up higher. You hate to see it. Eric, what's up? Welcome back in. What is this? Wait, wait. <laughs> 44 minutes and you're playing the game already? Absolute madness. And Rare Ghost. Holy beans rare ghost with the reset for four months in a row and tier three as well thank you <laughs> there are so many tier threes you guys are truly incredible thank you so much and hello <laughs> swift grand what's up welcome in <laughs> all right i do see that thing on the map but i still oh no we can go back there because it shouldn't be poison water anymore I want to spend just a little bit of this time. I know I'm on a time crunch. Not that I'm rushing it, but I do want to take the time to try to kind of get a little bit more powerful before we go into the wind area because it's going to be pretty challenging. Uh, Final Fantasy six. Why do I feel? All right, Zodi, when you make that face, <laughs> when you make that face. All right. Oh. Nice. All right, let's surface for a second. Ah, there's a lot down here actually, or at least a decent amount. So the seventh one was the one that just got remastered and came out most recently. Is the remaster you're talking about a new one? A new one that's coming out? Another energy cell. Another one. The remake, yes. Yeah, yeah, Final Fantasy VII, the remake just came out maybe I say just came out you guys know that I have a very distorted uh <laughs> time is not what it appears to be for me any game that's come out in the last five years is a game that's come out recently just because I'm always behind on games there's another piece over there and I do believe we could get over there so I kind of want to try it yeah let's try it mmm I can't get over there 
putt. Maybe I can... No. I think some of the difficulty with this game is just figuring out where you can get to. And I still like looking at that gold bead down there right there. I wish I had like a... Is that my first critique on the map? Is just I wish you had like a center point. But see that gold uh, orb down there? I, Looking at it, judging by it. Maybe I could climb up the wall. Maybe, but... I feel like I'm gonna need to be able to jump in the air. So I would say before I go too much further and waste time, let's actually, let's see if we can get back to the winds. Seven is good, but it doesn't hold up graphically these days. But wait, so is the remaster or the remake to RE7 so different than I'm gonna take the hit? It's worth it. Is it drastically different than the original? Czar. Czar with a gifted sub to Doug as well. Doug, I hope you enjoy the sub and the emotes. And Czar, welcome back in and thank you. Seriously, thank you so much. All right, let's see if we can get up to it from here. Holy beans. Average, average. Welcome back in. Thank you so much for the continual support for 17 months in a row as well. And Wraithfall, welcome back in, by the way. Thank you and hello. All right, let's go. I have so many of these points to be able to use. This isn't bad. This will give us enough to level up, except that everything I want to level up right now requires two. So we played ourselves. But we're one step closer. So I can't get up there. Oh, I love that it, they show us all of these. And it's probably because of our... Let's go ahead and save real quick because I'm definitely playing a dangerous game right now. I tend to follow the main path until you have most of the ability since it has warp and fast travel. That's actually really smart too. I think this is where I tend to uh, be my worst enemy is I want to go back to those areas before the time has come. I'm going to do life efficiency and I think I think I talked about this yesterday, but there's I mean, at this point, we might as well just clear out all the one ability point ones and then yeah, it shouldn't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it'll really, really matter. I didn't go down there. Three, welcome back in, by the way. Oh, but those, if I could collect all of those, y'all, we would be able to level up a decent amount. How many are over there? <gasps> Damn it. The loot goblet in me is so... This area especially. We can now break through most of these floors. Oh, man. I gotta do it. I need to do it. The loot goblin of me. We ride for Rohan. Oh! <laughs> I saw it too when I did that. I saw it when I hit the start button. <laughs> Original seven versus remade seven have different stories. They're totally not the same. That's so weird to me though. Why would they do that? Why not just make a new... I guess because they wanted to reuse similar characters. I didn't collect that piece, by the way. Um, oh, that's a clever way to get down faster. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a mess. All right, I need to remember that that's there. Uh, it's... We already saw that. Hold on. Some of the original fans hate it, although it was nowhere near finished in story. Some original fans love it. I'm part of the latter. Oh. Um. So are you guys thinking that RE7 remake would be the best one to get me into it? Here's the thing. I'm not opposed to turn-based games. I guess I've just never been like a crazy big fan of them. But the last time I played a turn-based game, I was probably like 10. So maybe I should give it another try. <laughs> Maybe we should give it another shot. Let's go check out that little... Oh my gosh, I miss so much stuff down here. Three oh, so welcome back in. That was a big oof. And is that a Claxton? Claxton, welcome back in too. All right, let's go do over here. I'm gonna... I wanna say it's over... Oh, I think I did try to get to this and I... I stuck the landing. I thought I've been here before and I somehow wasn't able to get through here, I thought. <laughs> Woo!
No, well, why didn't I not save right before that? All right, remind me to save more. RE7 remake is not turn-based. That's why I'm thinking that. I'm gonna focus for a second, hold on. <laughs> I think that's why I'm gonna try to start with the remake to get me into the series. No, I haven't played Persona. Yeah, I've never played it. No, I wanted to, to hold on. I wanted to, let me just focus for one second. There we go. Woo. I think I'll be able to get right back to where I was. Yeah, all right, we're already back here. All right. Actually, I haven't been hit yet either. Kindred, what's up? Welcome back in Burrito. The new Final Fantasy games aren't turn-based. That's why I think it would be a good place to start, but I don't know. What if I really like that one because it's not turn-based, but then it ruins the rest for me? That's the part that I'm kind of worried about, is I'll get so used to how the remake was that I'll compare all the other ones to it when you really can't. Because it sounds like you can't compare them at all. It is a Claxton. A wild Claxton has a beard. Boom boom, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel and community. Hold on. Sticky paws. I love just using their own... Oh. I love when you kill them with their own ability. So what's up here? There's gotta be something up here. I cannot get to that. Okay. Man. Stupid. I can't wait for part two. Wait, part two for what? I can't wait for part two of the remake. Unknown when they'll finish the story at this rate. But part two to seven. Wait, so seven, the remake is unfinished? They, they're doing it in two parts? Uh, I'm gonna go try to grab those ability points up there, y'all. Parker, what's up? And welcome back in. Montoya as well. I remember loving the original FF7, but the second disc was, ah, wait, there were two discs for that one too, was damaged, so I never got to finish it. Wait, there's always been two parts to it? But I don't feel like I can recommend it to you if you don't like anime, but if you like it, I can recommend it. <laughs> I would say like, I'm not, I'm not opposed to it. Like I, no, it's kind of a cop-out answer. It's like when people ask, what's your favorite music or favorite song? Which I think that's an unfair question to begin with, but I genuinely mean it when I say I'll really try any game. Like any game or any movie or show. So I've loved some animes in the past, although my favorite anime is Castlevania. And I know a lot of people argue that it's not a true anime because it's more like a cartoon, but I just loved the story behind that. I'm huge into Dracula that kind of ah, the vampires oh no I also just thought it was beautiful like the art style was so beautiful I actually need to launch myself using him because I'm not going to be able to get by either maybe maybe if I got a running start but I've been over there before Hmm. I'm not going to be able to get up to that spot, but we can go over here and jump down. Can you ask a question? Was your question? <laughs> Clax, get your boy in check. Great reaction, though. Wait, wait. It was great action, too. For which one? Still good? Yeah, Castlevania. I just really liked the art style. I think... Roasty toasty. All right, let's try that one more time. I think you are onto something where it is probably better to wait until you have more things. Sometimes I just take the hits on that one. All right, yeah, let's try to go down there. What is that? It's just gonna give us bonus XP. It was originally three discs. This was back in like 1997. Things that happened in 1997. <laughs> Your girl was born. <laughs> okay. 
That was Final Fantasy VII was coming out in 1997. Yes. Uh, wait, Helsing? Hold on, why am I... Helsing, Helsing. With... Are you talking about the one with... What's his name? With Hugh... I should have saved. I'm being ridiculous. With Hugh Jackman? And, uh, oh my gosh. What is her name? Oh. Mm. Oh, Helsing's an anime. I'm thinking, isn't there hell? There is a Helsing movie though. I do not, Stein. I do not. Two things I wish I had learned was another language, and I'm gonna say right here, and a musical instrument. But I'm working on the musical instrument. I am actively trying to learn the piano. All right, we're just gonna save right here. I will take it. I will take it. Kate, yes. Oh, yes. Kate. Helsing is a... I still also... I know a lot of people speak fondly of... Is it Demon Slayer? The one that just came out more recently? Your dick's small. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, we need to go to that middle cavern, so I actually need to go... Let me double tap this save point. Helsing with Alucard. Huh. Okay. No, I need to look into it. It's an anime. If you like Castlevania, you would like that one too. Wait, it's with Alucard? Wasn't, um... Did it come out after? It's a live action movie about the character fighting werewolves in Dracula. Van Helsing. There we go. Yep. Okay, Helsing. Similar. I was halfway there. Oh, wow. I wish you could instantly kill them if you, uh, if you, like, landed on them. I can actually use... No. Ah. What I need to do is save more in these parts, but I need to use their abilities against them to launch me <laughs> up higher or faster. The first half of the season, too, is amazing. When did this show come out? Sleep over. <laughs> can we order pizza? No. Although it is a movie night, I feel like it's mandatory. <gasps> Whoa! I did not catch that at all. We just have two. We can actually level up, y'all. Nice. Oh my. Cinder flame. Further increases the strength of your spirit flame. Creating a soul link restores two health cells. I do love that one too. Tobin, welcome back in. And NG, hi. There's Helsing with one L and Helsing with two Ls. Okay, that's on me. That's on me. I read it as two. Or one. One is uh, the one I'm thinking of. They aren't related, but they're both about vamps and stuff. So, can we tie them together somehow? <laughs> um, You're saying Castlevania and Helsing aren't related? Do any cost three? Okay, we will start to enter ones that cost three. Increase radius and damage a stomp. Let's go. This was awesome. I don't think this was a bad idea. I I do, however, see how it could be better to wait. No, we actually want to go down there. These stupid fire frogs. Thornfelt swamp. Oh, this water wasn't... Yeah, we couldn't go in the water before. These things are what help you level up more than fighting any mobs. And let's go here. Helsing came out in the late 90s. Okay, so it's been around for a long time. Hmm. Mr. Roach, welcome back in. Nice. How did I miss this part? <gasps> this one doesn't show up on the map. Maybe because it hasn't been discovered yet? Ah, so if it's a... Okay. Tricky. Interesting. What? I think that's one of those secret areas. There is a... Uh, well, maybe it's over here? Hmm. I thought there was an ability that 
highlight secret areas, like this right here. This doesn't show up on the map. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. Uh, what is the next comic called? Housing. <laughs> Joey, what's up? Welcome in, by the way. This game is amazing. Did you just say you're ordering pizza? You guys and pizza, let's like get a little creative. Anything else, anything else you guys want to throw at me. I guess we can go up and around. I can definitely collect that piece over there. And then I think I'd have to fast travel to get back to all of these tiny little areas, possibly. Mm. Guys, please no tips, tricks or spoilers, please. Yeah, the game is truly incredible. I feel like maxing my damage output is the best way to go about it. Up there. Watch me. Send me. Wow, his reach is so far. We're about to have two. This was so worth it. Goodbye. All right. It's a big boy. Oh, let's do this thing. Oh no. I always forget to use the burst attack in like an, off an, an offensive manner. I normally just use it to block those. Chick-fil-A. Oh, Indian food does sound good. Ice cream. Chicken nuggets. <laughs> I almost went to Chick-fil-A today for lunch and then I came home and made a salad instead. It didn't taste good. <laughs> like in comparison, a little bit of a letdown. I guess I already went in here. Did not hold a candle to it. Plus I feel panicky. Like I feel like I have to get Chick-fil-A on a Saturday because I know I won't be able to. I just want to kill them just out of frustration. So I want to like Thai food so bad and I do love mango sticky rice. But everything else, I'm not a huge. I think I definitely love, I love Indian food. I've been on a chicken curry kick, like a curry chicken salad kick. But my absolute favorite is probably Japanese food, I would have to say. <gasps> I bet you it's this way. Well, no, because we looked at this. I can't figure out what this light beam is to save my life. And this is one of those things that I would need to break. Maybe I'll get a dash through. I probably get a dash through later. What's a Gatsby? What is a Gatsby? Greek yogurt in your coffee? It's to completely ruin it. Well, if you're like to completely ruin it. <gasps> nice. Holy ability points, y'all. Olive, okay, Olive Garden salads are amazing, but that's how I feel about Texas Roadhouse salads. Ooh, so good. We are actually leveling up. Your dick's small. That's fair. Energy efficiency, energy pickups reward 50% more energy. Although I'm never falling out of energy. Like I, I never run out of it. I wish it was like that in real life, but BM, what's up? Welcome back in. You're playing the game already? It's an hour and seven minutes since I've been live. <laughs> Tony Smith, what's up? Welcome in. And also, I'm sorry if I'm missing some people. I know that I'm hyper-focused on the game right now. Flannel, hello too. And I think I also saw a sunburned ginger. Hello. Let's do... See, I don't use the stomp that much. But we're one step closer to rapid flame. So that's actually really worth it for me. Oh yeah, hell yeah. All right, let's save there. If we go collect these last few pieces, which I know we can, we'll be able to get the extra thing, but we're gonna have to run really far back to get that. <sighs> the loot goblin though. The loot goblin in me says we have to. We have to. All right, Orion, I'll catch you later. Thanks for hanging around. I think I might be able to get up here. Oh, nice. 
Down this way. No! <laughs> I think I need to not be on the wall because it's causing me to be further away from it. Yeah, let's try just being right here on this platform. Oh! Let's go! Alright, a life cell too. I... Does it look like the life cell gives you some ability points too? BM, have you ever played this game? Because if you haven't, it's beautiful and you should definitely go try. <laughs> definitely. Run it back. <laughs> oh gosh. I don't know what it is about these guys, but they're so... They're also sharpshooters. Rowers, what's up? Welcome back in. All right, we have enough. Let's just save right here before I start playing with fate and such. Mm, the maps over there, you know what? Oh, I don't have a I don't have a way to quick travel through there though. Okay. Okay, that's fine. We can go back the long way. It's okay. All right, let's play it safe. Go away! Mm. See the difference between a loot goblin and a completionist? <laughs> I don't care about anything that's not the shiny points to help my ability power. For eating too much Japanese curry. So every time I smell it, I can only taste bomb. <laughs> There's food like that. Like if I've, like right now that's pizza for me. Yeah, let me send myself. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Oh no. All right, let's send this one over to that guy. Nice. Wait, I think I needed the other spider to get across this area. Uh, no, I can make that. I definitely can make that, right? That's the loot goblin in me. Jump over. Although I'm gonna take a hit here. Was it worth it? Yes. Uh, okay, I love you, bye bye, hello. The ad before your stream was for Ring of Power. Starts in September on Netflix. I saw this and thought, man. <laughs> I think somebody, the best one that's happened so far is the ad for um, Taco Bell before my stream. To answer your question, I don't know if I'm gonna watch it. I'm really not excited by a lot of what I'm seeing from it. I just, I don't. You know how it's like something was, I just feel like the original trilogy was so good and it's gonna be really hard for me to not constantly compare it to that. And so far the trailer I've seen for it, I really haven't, it hasn't been holding my heart. So I have to decide, I'll probably eventually see it. This is like you guys were talking about the spinoff for Game of Thrones. I know, pe <sighs> I don't think there's anything wrong with continuing on with the series, especially when there's a really good story to be depicted. But there's so many movies now and spinoff shows for series that I wish we could just lay to rest. Like, but I know, I know money and, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of people who do. Do you see that frog? It's so cute. I guess I'm really scared for it to be awful and then it just leaves a sour taste. I can't get to that one. That would be really cool, Stein. That would be super cool. <laughs> and Gregor did too. A hell of a thumbnail. Oh man, um, I am very used to, uh, if it's not Twitch giving me great thumbnails, it is always Vert putting in fantastic thumbnails for the, um, the archive channel. Oh yeah. I am not a stranger to these. I think this is the route we want to go. I don't know how I missed those before though. Oh, Twitch, why you gotta do me like this? I see. Yeah, it was a Taco Bell one. I feel like I'll still watch the show, but I find it really funny. I just, this was something that I noticed that they've put so much money into the show that I find it hilarious how it's a category on your Amazon page, like next to home and improvement and all of those bars at the top. It's the trailer for it. That's when you know you're maybe scared that you're not gonna get your investment back. Maybe. 
they're not suspenders. All right, we need one more to be able to get that thing that I want. I have no idea how to get to that, that one down there. So I'm gonna play it safe and not waste the time on it and go towards these ones. Or at least opt out of certain ads. <laughs> yeah, if we could only like pick them. I don't know if I've been... Okay, I think I have been down here. Yeah, look how slight. Like, you really don't... How did I miss this before? Because I can't get into it. You'll love to see it. Bleezy, hi. I can get up to... No, I can't. I can't break through that one. Sometimes I spend my Friday nights. Watching people eat street foods from different places. Okay. I will say that some of the best things to do are people watch at like amusement parks and stuff like that. Although watching them eat, I don't know if I've ever... I guess if I'm done eating... I am kind of craving Mexican food, so I did think about going. But you can't order takeout for Mexican food because a lot of times some places will give you chips, but I feel like a lot of places don't. So it's like, damn. Now I can't fill up before my meal on chips. What is this ridiculousness? The TV series is based off of the, yes, the Silmarillion. I never can say it right. So yeah, they are going off of the books, but I, okay, so I will have to post it in the Discord. But basically I watched this guy's video. It was pretty much like a whole blown like thesis on why it doesn't make sense. But it appears, now I haven't read that series and it's been on my list of books to read, but I just haven't made the time for it. Yeah, so this guy's whole thing that he was referring to is uh, the way that they're depicting certain characters isn't true to the books, but more importantly, they're smashing time frames together that didn't occur, like certain events didn't occur at the time that they're having them line up. So they're altering timing which Tolkien was very against. I did watch like an interview and some of his quotes, like he talks about the one thing you can't do is switch up the timing of certain events that take place hundreds, hundreds of years apart. But I haven't researched enough to have like my own contribution to all of that. Oh, damn it. How far back am I? Damn it. Yeah. So that's where I'm a little scared. Don't do it. The Lord of the Rings community is not hyped for it. I think some of them are, but I also think... I also think it's been such a long time since we've seen something, and I don't know if anybody else was like this. I'm not against The Hobbit, but The Hobbit was the one book that I really did read in the series, and I just felt like it could have been I think we can always agree that stuff can be done better, but I just felt like it wasn't as accurate of a depiction as possible. And I, I get like having to do like a love story and things like that, but it didn't feel like it needed to be three movies and it just was disappointing to me. Love the roller coaster tycoon growing up. I have never played that. The Hobbit should have been like a long movie. That being said, back then when The Hobbit came out, it's been interesting to see the evolution of length in movies. Like, now you can have a Batman movie that's three hours long, which I don't necessarily agree with that. Although if it's for the sake of keeping it in one movie rather than splitting it into three, I think I would take that. Ow! <laughs> because the Batman movie was very long. And shockingly, I think I did not go to the bathroom at all during that. It must have been all the popcorn just soaking up. I also feel like the hardcore fans are always super hard to please though. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I definitely agree with that. I'm starting to take movies and games for just a good time. Like I don't need it to be, I don't need to dissect it. I, As long as I am just happy and having fun while playing something, I feel like I'm a lot less critical. Wait. Still hunting the light, blinded by hate. Lord of the Rings budget is insane. It's crazy. We're not even close to where he was. Mm. Yeah, so I didn't end up even... We tried to watch Dune and my 
computer was like on the fritz, but I didn't end up seeing it. I don't think I need to even go up here, but I guess... No, I guess we do want to go this way. Yeah. Unless, hold on. Wait a minute. I don't think that's how Popcorn works. I'm choosing to believe that it is. It's how I imagine it. Although, it just depends on how hydrated I am too, because I felt like the other day I went five hours streaming without getting up and like going to the bathroom or anything. Amazon dares to mess with token fans is beyond me. Yeah, I feel like they're especially really hard to please. There's certain communities that are relentless. Mm. I never played this game, so I always thought the owl was a good guy. Nope. The owl is bad news bears. I don't remember being here. When did I get into Spider Cove? Where? Oh! Nice! Uh... This actually should give us another ability pack. No, it's a small one. No! It's a small bead. Damn it. At least I don't have to be afraid to fall into the water now, though. It's a small... There are long movies that are so good that they that they feel we wait, wait they are so good that they don't feel like it yeah when i saw batman in theaters it didn't feel like a three-hour movie to be fair <gasps> do you see that do you think i can get up there no there's no way all right we'll get back to the the wild winds and then we'll Continue on. I'm sure there will be opportunities to level up in that part, especially since it's the natural progression. <gasps> Except, hold on. Unless. What do you think this is? I think the craziest part. <gasps> yes! Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, first of all, save because I'm not playing with fire here. Rapid flame allows the spirit flame to be fired more rapidly. <laughs> Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right, let me save after two. Oh my goodness. This is great. This is so good. All right, now I'm fine with like leveling up at a natural pace. <laughs> Volgrim, hello. Uh, They aren't, wait, what is this? Would not surprise me if some genius hacked Amazon to not go up because he's salty. Um, I just think it's really interesting. Like the fact that I thought was most interesting about Tolkien was that he like wrote it in his will or something, whatever, like your last words and stuff or whatever, was to not let Aunt Disney touch his works. Gotta have a strong hate for Disney. Although I haven't really liked a lot of the stuff, ah! a lot of the movies they've had lately. What are the chances? I think this would have to go up higher for me to be able to. <gasps> Hibachery, awesome. It's actually my first, I'm fairly new. How does it work? So at seven, you'll just see us pop into the knives, the VC, it's the cast a couch VC. And then when the movie starts, we just meet ourselves and then we comment in the VC channel. But that's awesome. I'm so glad you're gonna be able to join. And Puddle Glove, hello. Revelation, revolution. Please. Why am I like this? It didn't seem like a three-hour movie because you were most likely used to sitting and binge watching TV shows per multi- All right, that seems like you're calling me out there. Which I don't binge watch that much. I feel like I don't binge watch as much as I used to. I'm assuming I've collected that, but no. That has to be a new one, y'all. But there's no way. How would that be a new one? Maybe it never went down here or I saw it and I didn't actually use it. What? Fine, I'll do it myself. <laughs> yeah, it was best to let. Along with it's possible. And I'm fly. Oh. I never. Well. I did use this one, but 
that's weird because oh they are okay never mind i'm sorry they are showing up on the map they are that's on me damn it i gotta go up this way i love binge watching shows it's better than trying to get to know someone then waste all that time oh my god revelation no it's better to binge watch shows than all right, we're going this way. It sounds like there's a story associated with this. This level of hatred. Do we bring our own popcorn or is it provided? You know, unfortunately, Ginger just isn't able to make enough popcorn for everybody. So we'll be bringing your own. But I'm so excited, though. I did buy popcorn for tonight. Yep, the cast a couch. That is what it is. Oh! I feel like since I'm doing so much more damage and it's more food for you, is that what you said? Lightning, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel and community. It's also more chicken nuggets for me. Hold on. It's 10 more chicken nuggets? Do you eat healthy popcorn or normal popcorn? What I assume that you think I eat healthy popcorn if you're even asking that question. Launch them somewhere. I, oh, I think it does a lot of damage to them if you launch them into the ground too, especially. <laughs> popcorn, popcorn, popcorn. Um, no, I do not eat healthy popcorn. I used to be like really obsessed with making my own from the kernels because I do feel like they taste better and then you melt your own butter. But no, I do not eat healthy popcorn. My thought with snacks is like, yes, over time, you know, it's the little things over time, but usually I will try to eat meals really healthy and then my snacks, I just go all out. Cause like popcorn, right? What's the point? What's the point? I'm already, the intention is there. I'm already eating the whole bag. I might as well just have the butter and actually appreciate what I'm eating. Otherwise, I'm just sitting there eating like cardboard kernels. It's miserable. Chocolate popcorn. <laughs> I told you guys about how I had my friend who loved hot sauce and she would make me carry these mini hot sauce packets in my purse whenever we'd go to the movies. And then all I would smell for the duration of the movie was just freaking What's that like popular, popular hot sauce? This is all I smelled. And then she put jalapenos on it too. I do like whenever I watch movies, I like the popcorn. I get the kids pack because it's actually just a great deal. Okay. You get a little bit of popcorn, you get a slushy, and then you get your gummies. And it's like seven bucks. It's such a steal of a deal. Don't. <laughs> Uh, the big movie theater popcorn machine. Do I need it? Absolutely not. But it is probably better than any store bought. You have a good point there. Mm, Valen Valentina, I think. I think she used Valentina. Texas Pete. It could have been Texas Pete too. It was kind of different. It wasn't the same one every time. But she's the person that I got really into eating mangoes with tahine on it. And I loved it. I love tahine. Especially on some like tahine on tuna sounds disgusting, but it's actually pretty good. Alright, this is the way that we're going, but I do kind of want to go down first. Or what if this okay, hold on. Let me go over here first. Because a part of me thinks that this is the right way. But then another part of me is like, mm, yep, yeah, 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 yeah. It definitely is. Reese's Pieces candy with popcorn works so well. I'm not a chocolate person. I just am not a big fan of chocolate. Maybe like very dark chocolate. I want to like chocolate. I mean, I could see M&Ms too. Oh shit, Forrest. Forrest, thank you so much for the continual support for 10 months in a row and welcome back in. Y'all, this is Bad News Bears. I need to save. My soul link is still charging. So I actually can't get through there anyway, but. All right, I'm going to save when I get up here because I need to get the health back. Oh, right on, right on. Impossible. 
I am definitely, so I believe that there's like two types of people. There's like the chocolate, like you like chocolate. Tabasco? I don't think it was Tabasco. But so you either like chocolate or growing up you liked Skittles, like the totally fake candy. Like I grew up on Airheads, even just earlier I was thinking about this, I had this <laughs> insane craving for a fruit roll up. I just, I like that kind of candy, like the super sugary, awful for you. Just, it tastes better to me. It's my thing. Although I do like, um, I also love payday bars. <laughs> I think, but I just, it's the caramel with the, uh, is it peanuts? I think, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, candy corn, no. No, I love Halloween, don't get me wrong, but peeps and, and that kind of stuff, no, I can't. Let's go this way. All right, let's save up here. Hmm, I think that's the best way. Wait, wait. You say commercial cheap chocolate is usually 80% sugar, 5% chocolate. <laughs> yes. So I like, there's this one brand, um, and I think, and welcome back in, by the way. I think it's, um, oh man. I know it's sold at Kroger, but I don't know what stores you guys have, but it, um, it has like a bunch of different animals on the chocolate covers and, uh, part of the, like, amount that you pay goes towards, like, habitats for them or, or stuff like that, you know, but that's all I remember about it, but it's like 85% dark chocolate and it's the best chocolate I've ever had. I loved it. Do you like salty or sweet licorice? Can I opt out of both? <laughs> I like, I like the strawberry Twizzlers. I guess that's the only licorice, but I know that's not like a oh, real licorice. I know of this place. I feel of the air. The path to the west leads to the Misty Woods Trail. You give off candy corn up. I give off candy corn vibes. Is this because I'm wearing overalls? I'm done. Guru looms up ahead, won't allow us to pass. Let us not travel further, lest we unleash her wrath. The way is shut. It was made by those who are dead. All right, we need to go the opposite way, but I'm never going to pass up a free opportunity to save. Um, yeah. Yeah. Caramel and peanuts are a great combo. I mean, do you say caramel or... Car oh, Swedish fish. I walked in hearing about candy Reese's cups. Wait, wait, Reese's cups? I do like Reese's cups. Chocolate and peanut butter is a combination I can always do. The lipstick candy that was sour. Is that a push pop? <laughs> are you talking about a push pop? I think it was called a push pop. I seem like the type of girl who kept opened Gushers packets in her pocket. What the f- <laughs> Candy corn is the nectar of the gods. V dot. V dot. I what? This is all because I'm wearing overalls, I swear. Um, <laughs> I, I feel like I should be slightly insulted by that one. Gummy worms and sour worms. Oh man, I love the little octopus trolley gummies because I rip off the tentacles and then you eat the body. It's so satisfying. What is it? That didn't break Something it. something Texas Roadhouse rolls. Why do you guys do this to me? Natty, thank you so much for the $5 donation and the reminder that I really could use some Texas Roadhouse. Thank you for that. I do like the M&Ms filled with peanuts. I do like those. Otherwise, I don't eat M&Ms though. Also, was there a praise the sun? Praise the sun, welcome back in. What, yeah, oh, what are the other things that I'm thinking about though? Hungry snake, welcome back in too. Um, Man, uh, I do like Gushers, but 
there's these really okay so nerd ropes but they're like nerd clusters so you still have the gummy of the inside but the nerd rope like it's like little tiny nerd ropes basically those are some of my favorite I was the chick back in school that was the candy dealer. No, I was the person that always had gum and everybody asked me for it and I could never say no to anybody. So I never, like I never had gum for myself. And then I'm the type of person that you ask me for a piece of gum and I have one piece left and I'm gonna give it to you. I'm not gonna, I, it's just rude not to. Or split it, depending. I was the gum dealer. Sheldon, what's up? Welcome back in gummy clusters I'm trying to think the Texas Roadhouse rolls penguin with the Taco Bell suggestion I just like Texas Roadhouse sounds so good but I don't maybe if I placed the order at six and then I kept playing I could go pick it up before we start movie sorry I gotta use your body I'm sorry oh they they're launching three I don't want this. I don't like this. <gasps> I really don't like this. Oh crap, I wasn't supposed to kill him though. Ow! Ow! It's <laughs> a lot of bad news bears. This is gonna get really difficult. I need to sit back and focus. Did I bring enough gum for all of chat? I, as I've gotten older though, it's really weird because I feel like in school I used to chew gum all the time. Now I really don't carry gum that much. Like I have it on me at all times, I would say, but I hardly ever chew. I really like, um, I need to save up here after we collect this. I don't know how that actually worked out, but we're here and we're happy. Okay, that was something. Prepared really nice stuff for lunch, but I wanted junk food. <laughs> that was kind of me. My mom it was like, she is a nutritionist, so we always ate the most boring things. I really didn't have like a bag of chips till I was like 15. But it was bad because what happened was, as soon as I got my driver's license, I like, Rebel. That was like my rebellion. My childhood rebellion was going to like Taco Bell and Panera and finally getting all the bad food that I never was allowed to have. This is good. This is good. It's a decent save. It's a difficult time in my life. Mmm. <laughs> the Gerardelli chocolate. As long as Kuro is out there. The path through the misty woods will be blocked. But look up there. We might be able to distract her if we loosen that rock. Ooh, okay, let's save here. Um, I think one of the things I really loved, um, I talk about it, but I've been to Romania a couple of times and they're chocolate or they're hot chocolate. So I'm a hot chocolate connoisseur. I don't like chocolate candy, but I love hot chocolate. And it's always really disappointing when you find somebody, like a nice restaurant, but their hot chocolate is just a packet. Romania had the thickest, like real hot chocolate. It was to die for. And I'll never find it. I gotta use you, sorry. Look, thing, ah! <laughs> Okay, there we go. Let's save up here. Mm -hmm. I haven't had a cow tail in years. I've never tried one of those. You know what I tried the other day though? Okay, uh, Bass Pro Shop has like older candies. Do you guys know the circus peanuts? <laughs> They're like the really gross orange circus peanuts. I don't even know how to, it was disgusting, but great at the same I, I don't know I didn't mind it it was a texture thing but I finally tried one of those <laughs> they were foul like I could never eat multiple but I did try one like a piece of it and it it kind of it was the texture for me because I was picturing it to have a chalky texture but it didn't I, so strange um there's a lot of great candies to try there, actually. 
How am I supposed to... I guess if I jump up here, it's gonna try to come up here. Maybe not. Frey, by the way, welcome back in. They're foul. I like the texture of those, but I don't like to eat them. Mr. Devious, welcome back in too. I cannot... This rock. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you for that. That was humbling. Why? Why am I not going down? Jump up, spin down. All right, we did it. <laughs> they're so bad, the circus peanuts. Yeah, they're like foam packing peanuts. I kind of want to try some other stuff that they have there. I'm trying to broaden my horizon of like all these different foods and candies that I've never tried. I feel like I should try to grab one new thing from a grocery store each time. <gasps> oh, you collected Kuru's feather. To use this item, press A and then press RT. Kuru's feather will allow Ori to glide freely and ride the wind current. Oh, let's go. That's awesome. A little feather, a small feather. The haze of the misty woods deceived the minds of all. Those lost within were never found. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. I need to save. I gotta go by Blue Ranger. Fiddlesticks, it's a brand of chocolate she's thinking of. <laughs> I could start a candy brand with all the ridiculous sayings that I do. The bad news bears bread. I don't know. Whoa, do not like what's happening here. Launch it back. Although we could use it to get up there and heal. <gasps> I asked. Ah. Uh. You know what the music sounds like? It kind of sounds like the faint background music from Phantom of the Opera. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe it's me. Um, I need to save up one more for getting two life cells back after creating a soul link just because I feel like I always have enough to create soul links, but my health is what's always dwindling. Holy jelly beans. Yes. I don't know why I'm having. Why can't I? Oh, man. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I remember a lot of death here and I think that's why I gave up on a lot of this area. Like I didn't even farm this area. I just got frustrated and left it alone. <laughs> Beats Bomber, welcome back in. A candy tier list. I've always thought about doing those tier lists, especially for um, first stream it would be fun to rank some games and stuff like that i wanted to do that with the elden ring bosses and i never did arwen welcome back in all right let's listen to see the shrouded lantern the mysterious haze below bellows out of its stem if we find a way to light it the path might clear once again oh okay i do kind of i think i still did get through this area too faintly remember. Bash everything, anything and everyone. <laughs> I know, but then I die and I get frustrated because I have to go back through all over again. Nothing is more, I would say, I also would say save often for this level. It's a small feather. Well, it's a big feather for, for Kuru, but... Oh, that's an idea. Hold on. I think it was really good to level up and take the time because we would. I think I got two new abilities before we got to this area. <laughs> nice. Once we get level two, we'll be able to regain more health, which will be really helpful. If you look up Circus Peanut, 
dates on Wikipedia, it says that they became a thing once cell, wait, wait, a thing once cellophane was invented. Huh. Uh, I need a little bit more context to that. It's not ringing a bell. I got my non-healthy popcorn. <laughs> How much do the movie theater popcorn machines cost? Llamas, hello. I'm gonna hopefully, oh gosh, yeah, you can't even see the map. I did a tier thing for Dark Souls 3, was it? I think I did one for Dark Souls 3. Bash everything. All right. <laughs> All right, uh. What? I never knew. Also, look at this. Ow. Ow. Oh, it spikes. Gotcha. Ow. Okay. I see it. I didn't realize that I could just duck below it, though. Mm -hmm. You've got to be joking me. All right. I'm going to save right after before we do that. I'm so frugal with my save points when I don't have to be. Uh. Really? Maybe we can go up here. Oh. Ow, ow, ow. Get up, get up, get up. Get out, get out. All right, save here. This is a good saving point. You would not believe how many people ask that lifesaver, but no, I don't. I, we talked about it before. Irish, but I do have Native American in me, so that's where my usually my olive skin tone, I think, comes from. Quick Ben, thank you so much for continuing your sub from Riddler. Thank you, and I'm so glad you're enjoying the channel and community. Although, somebody was telling me, I think one of you guys was talking about how there are like, tan uh, and more olive tone Irish people too. I never knew if she was or not. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna have to do a Halloween costume of it. Uh, Celophane is plastic wrap, okay. I've never knew that. I wanna say hi to someone, okay. <laughs> All right, that's the save point. Let's just double save right here. Mm. Northern Fins are also dark brown too. Yeah, I didn't know that about, cause it's weird too, cause I do have a lot of, like I have a lot of face freckles as well, but it is more like of an olive tone. Any tan Irish people are probably immigrants. <laughs> that I always pictured, I always pictured like fairer and lighter complexion for Irish. And I'm like 10% Irish. I always kind of chalked it up to my Native American roots, though. Oh, uh, we can use that. Because it comes from my mom's side, and she is very... Ah! That's not going to work. Crap. Oh, gliding. We need to work on gliding. I actually don't have any Italian. Go. Oh, that's how we're gonna do it. That's how we're gonna do it. I need to work on timing, but here we go. All right, let's go launch up. Okay, no. <laughs> CSM, by the way, welcome in. Oh, I didn't know she was Italian. Interesting. That is not going to work. I have to use the other guy, like the one that pops up at the end there. I need to use his to work. All right, here we go. Ah, oh, nice. Okay. Save, just save. 
Ah, uh, they're really trying to get you to use your glide ability now. Yeah. Am I getting off of stream? No, 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 no. I... I guess it's already almost five. I didn't realize how short today's stream was gonna be. Oh, crap. You know, the using that big explosion wasn't a bad idea right there. This is going mildly better. Yeah, the olive skin too. It's funny, my oldest brother is, but then my other brother, he doesn't look anything like us, so I'm kind of the... <laughs> Sometimes I... He even says it himself that he thinks he's the milkman. Milkman's son or something, but I definitely play into it a little bit. I'm like, yeah, you're definitely adopted, bro. You got the feather? I did, I did. Because he does not look similar at all. I think he just looks like my dad's side of the family. Yeah, we all have the same mom. Yeah! Ooh, by the hair of my Jenny Jin Jin. Bring my little tail. <laughs> we are saving when we get down here. This whole area is like a cheek clencher. Mm. With the ginger beard. I always think that's so interesting. A lot of people, I feel like I've seen a decent amount of brunettes that end up having a ginger beard, but they don't have ginger hair. Got him from the stork, I know. Deceived by the mist, they were lost in the woods. So weird. But now I want to get up there. I think I can't. That's one milkman. <laughs> you know, yeah. Yeah, to be fair. I didn't think about that. What? <laughs> because hair and pube genetics are different? <laughs> and am I reading this right? Because I'm a redhead, it doesn't mean my mom. No, I'm not saying that. My brother's not. No, my brother's not a ginger. He just has a very different complexion than us. Plus, I don't know. He was the one that I didn't get along with growing up, and it's funny how it flip flops. And now him and I are closer. My other brother and I are like. Depends on the day. I am the youngest. I am the youngest and the only girl, so I did win the lottery on that one. Definitely won the uh, the child lottery. At Sue's torch, it was lost in this place. If we carry it into the shrouded lantern, it might show us the way. At Sue's torch. Your brother's like that. I think I can kind of look good too. If it's like a like a darker kind of red. All right, we gotta go down right here. Can I break this? Hmm. Why would they create this little piece right there? Oh, we have to go back and then it will have moved. Yeah. Yeah, this whole area is interesting because look, now it's something. Spirit River, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel and community. I think it just changed. I saw it change. I thought it changed. There we go. I need to start using the projectile to hit them back. Bye. That is true. The Vikings. Ah, oh, that makes me think of, uh, is it worth watching the Viking show? Is it worth it? Is it a uh, Hemtaro mode? Ty, I don't think so. I'm unfamiliar. Mm hmm. I'm not opposed to it, but I would say, like, I don't know. I always wanted a sister, but I think now I'm kind of happy that I didn't. Up to four seasons. Up to season four. How many seasons are there? Let's keep running back and see if it gotta change right like there oh geez I feel like it gets more distorted the more you move away from your 
the right objective. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Checkered vans, welcome back in. I'm missing it. I'm missing something. What is this? Um. Maybe we need to search somewhere else. Did you say the lone girl along, among her siblings? I also, uh, we have mostly, I would say mostly males in our family. Like I only have one female cousin. The lone. Well, that, but you know what? It's why I got into games because they told me they were like play games or be alone for your childhood. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, bye. <gasps> no, I want that. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay, we do want to go that way though. You can be the favorite when you're the youngest for a while, but eventually the roles of favorite are going to switch to a daughter when we wait. Uh, when she calls more often and makes the parents grandparents. <laughs> I think um, that is very true. I know like I definitely stay in contact with my parents more, but it's probably because I'm the youngest too. I don't know. Don Cito, thank you so much for the continual support for two months in a row. Dude, and welcome back in. Ah. But, but it's not for, like, my brother is the first to have kids, but he just chooses to not include my parents. So, he had the opportunity. He had it. Praise the sun for also continuing your gifted sub from Life of Thai. Guys, thank you so much. There's been a couple continued gifted subs. Thank you, praise. All right. Oh, we did it. We did it. All right, I'm saving up here. <laughs> I can't save near this. Okay. Time to go. Ow. Ah. Drop fast. Drop. 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 Oh my gosh. All right, don't panic. Don't panic. Save. <laughs> don't panic. Oh man! And praise for gifting a sub as well to Pit Dragon. Pit. Or. That is not Pit Dragon. <laughs> PTI Dragon. I hope you enjoy the sub and the emotes. And praise. Thank you so much for paying forward your gifted sub as well. Yeah. <laughs> you did it for like six months. The mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Today we're talking family secrets. I think I'm just still feeling slighted from yesterday's fight with him. Interesting. All right. So we have to go up through these lanterns. Wait a minute. Do you see what I see? Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I need to get two points before we can do the next one. I feel like you include your parents more if you're short on money. So it doesn't sound like your brother is short of money. No, I, no, no, that's definitely not. Like, I mean, that's definitely not it in his case. I love him, but he's a twat. Um, I think it's more to do with, and you'll typically see this. I would say you see this pretty often. But whenever, you know, whenever a couple gets married or something, they typically spend more time with one side of the family, I think, at least from my experience. And so they just spend more time with her family than, than my family. Woo! All right, here we go. We're going to save here as well, which I think especially after you have kids, um, with their case at least, I think they spent more time with her family just because one, they're closer. So location does play a big impact as well. I just having a good relationship with my parents. Yeah. I think it also like, I've always been the like planner of my family. 
so I just naturally try to bring us all together. <laughs> Which means I need to communicate the most to make sure it all goes flawless. All goes to plan that I just made up. Location is a big impact. I know that for sure. Uh, love building Gundams with your stream up. I had just learned what that was when, ah, what was it? There was a show that featured them. I'm trying to think of it. It is tea, it's tea time. <laughs> oh yes, tell us, please tell us. I'm always with my family. I've been taking care of my parents for a while. That's amazing. That's what like, I feel like I'm definitely gonna end up taking care of my dad. I love him. But it's different too if your parents are remarried or if they've like separated or if, you know, like their wife or husband has deceased and stuff. I had have friends. They're usually super keen on privacy until they need something. Oh man. Um, yeah, I don't think my oldest brother is really like that. He definitely takes pride in feeling like he doesn't need anything from anybody. I, on the other hand, I'm like a big, like I seek a lot of counsel. I have no, I have no shame admitting when I need help. Like I definitely have my own pride too, but I am constantly like trying to seek the wisdom of, of my family and my elders, I guess. The mug is goaded. <laughs> King Kane, what's up? Welcome in. Thank you. People either love it or they hate it. It's never. Hold on. Oh, are we getting closer? Probably not. Are you guys dropping spoilers? <gasps> I think this is gonna be so we can launch through those rocks. The vertical destruction or horizontal destruction. Tatsu used to climb the mountains high atop Sorrow's Pass. When her brother's torch faded, she fell to the mist where she lost her path. What is it? What is it? It's got to be the one where we break through. You've learned to climb? What? <gasps> oh my gosh. That is actually really cool. Okay, that actually... Yeah. That is going to help a lot. I see the channel tag asked me about Quarry. <laughs> My mods have a great sense of humor. What are the tags right now? <gasps> oh, ow, 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 ow. All right, let's save here real quick. Finally. Oh, check it out. That's so cool. Aw. Little man fell. Okay, that is super cool. I think that's gonna make... I don't know if they pop up for any of those kind of... I don't, I don't like these guys. Did they go away after a while? Or I guess you can stand on them for quite some time. Who made it? One hour intro streamer asked me about Corey. Ah, yes. Hmm. That's cool. I actually love this part of the game. Ah! Yeah, how do you like the taste of your own medicine? <gasps> All right, let's just just keep that save point there. It should flip flop, right? I don't, I don't like that. Okay. The one hour intro kills me. First playthrough ish. Well, I think we're still a little bit before we can actually say just first playthrough. Is this game harder than Hollow Knight? I can't even remember Hollow Knight. I know it's such a meme about my goldfish brain, but I'm very an in the moment kind of person. So I will completely like immerse myself and pay attention in that moment. And then after it's like brain dump, I don't know. Especially with games though, there's so many games, so little time. 
Hmm. Uh oh. Hold on. I played Hollow Knight. I think Hollow Knight was one of the longest to go, though. Like, I want to say. I want to say I played it just about four years ago. Oh. What is this? <laughs> what is happening right now? Uh, the path exposed itself? Okay. So we need four more. Or one more. I th I'm assuming we need one more. The goldfish brain is going to be a tag. <laughs> I would not put it past my mods. I really wouldn't. I don't think I need to go over there anymore. They're both incredible games. I would say, yeah, Hollow Knight is beautiful in like a different, it's not as vibrant as this, but I kind of like it for that reason too. <gasps> no! Man, that sucks, I did not save. I need to learn to double tap the save points too. I do this to myself, I do this to myself. She gave Cory a 10 out of 100, yes. Did somebody actually ask about it? Mm. Oh, I actually made it up there. Do I go to therapy? No. Um, I know a lot of people who do. Um, I think it can be good, but I just don't feel like I carry too much trauma. I've been very fortunate. Uh, that's what I feel like my brother needs more than anything. <laughs> what makes you think I do? <laughs> do you think I do or something? Do I give off? Man, I'm learning a lot about what vibes I give off to you guys. Jeez. <laughs> I did think you did. What about me makes it look like I go to therapy? Username, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel and community. Mr. Devious, um, it's in my, my specs are, if I can do exclamation mark specs, but it's the Sony A6600, but it's the lens that does it all. The lens. Uh, did one of my mods mind doing specs? Thank you. Because of Quarry, you guys think I need therapy? <laughs> you sound like you'd make a wonderful therapist. I have worked really hard on being an active listener. I feel like it's, it sounds ridiculous, but it's like a dying art, finding people. I'm gonna double save there. Um, I just feel like it is truly something when you can find somebody who is an active listener. Um, one thing that's alarming, I don't know if anybody else has realized this, but I notice that people like don't look you in the eye as much when they're talking to you anymore. I don't know if that's just like, it's something I look for now and I'm realizing it's more and more. You give off a of breaking the generators in DVD vibe. Ridiculous. Uh, here we go. Well, you remind me more of Duck, to be honest, that nothing bothers you. <laughs> Oh, I love, oh my gosh, no, the duck memories. I'm also gonna die here. How do I do that one? Water off the duck's back. Mm. I would say I don't take things personal if it's like, it's really just my family when I feel like I take things personal. See, that doesn't make sense. I think I can't hit that one then. Uh, Revolution, I hope you have a good nap. Thanks for hanging around and have a great rest of your Saturday. Maybe it's the Halloween mask. I need therapy because I have a Michael Myers Halloween mask. And I'm just slightly obsessed. So I think we need to go back over here. No, that's not gonna work. But I am gonna save right here because I feel like I'm in a good spot. Making eye contact is very personal and can be extreme for many people. That is true. I guess I haven't thought about it like that. We love therapy. It's a favorite part of the week. I think it can be really good. I've seen more and more people doing, there's like an ad on a lot of podcasts for, um, like a teletherapist, I guess. So where am I supposed to go? 
We're about to learn. Better help. Yep, yeah, that's it. That's what I hear on my podcast all the time. Yeah. So what, how can I do this? Oh, not that. I can't go backwards. I can't remember. Press B to access the soul tree. I'm trying to think of something that I've acquired that would be testing this. Hmm. Oh man. I hate when I get hard stuck like this because it's for the stupidest things. I see that one. I see where you can have one right there. Hold on. It's when I jump. It's when I jump. It's not. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. I need to jump twice on it. Mmm, that's so clever. <laughs> Tricky. So when I jump right there, I gotta think about how I'm gonna do this. It's on that platform though, I thought. No, I'm not floppy pickling. Oh. No, I did not like <laughs> Halloween kills. I did not. I thought it was, I agree. I thought it was definitely the weakest of them. So if I can just glide. Good Lord. <laughs> I overcomplicate everything. All right, I went too quick. I went too quick. That's so frustrating. I, and I knew it too. Did I not say it was gonna be using something that I acquired recently? Ridiculous. It's always the simple thing. Everyone gets tripped up there. <laughs> well, I also don't, I don't look at that as like a gliding place. Probably because of, uh, wow, that's a thick spider. I don't look at that as a gliding place. I look at more like the super downhill slopes as them. Uh, literally is the feather right after. Yep. I wonder if I acquired it recently. <laughs> yep. It just didn't feel like one of those spots. <laughs> All right, we wait here for a second. I'm gonna save here too. I use the camera instead of the screen. Yeah, I wonder if that makes it come off like I'm coming off too strong. Um, I like that point that it is like, it can be a very personal thing. I never really thought about it like that. Oh crap. Hold on. I'm in survival mode and this is one of the more intense parts of the game. No! Wait, I'm definitely gonna die here. Okay, this is what I did all the other times that I've played this game and it frustrates the heck out of me. I don't mean to go down, like do that. Oh, I don't mean to do that whatsoever. And somehow it always happens. I just automatically just drop down. <laughs> Send me on the way. Oh, you don't have to use it, but they leave it there as like a fail safe. <gasps> oh. Nice, 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 nice. I don't want to spend any extra time in this area when I come back. Like, I know I'm going to have to if I want to be able to find all the stuff and level up. So interesting. Sith Lord, did I even say hi to you? Oh, that's bullshit. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. I guess I can maybe jump for it. Probably not. Ow! Hey! I'm just going to take that L. I'm going to take that L. 
<laughs> Math, what's up? Welcome back in. Hello. <sighs> Ridiculous. You don't even have to use him. You played yourself. But I need him. Oh man, alright. Hmm, wow. <gasps> Oh, let's go. All right, that's the last and final one, but I still need to go grab that. Um, I definitely want to grab that ability bar right there, but I'm going to heal real quick because I don't trust myself. Hold on. All right, I'm going to pause right here real quick. I'm going to run to the bathroom super quick. Or you maggied yourself. <laughs> so I could out what's up. Welcome back in. Let me hydrate. Get some DJ Khaled emotes. <laughs> okay. I'll be right back, guys. The only downside. The only downside to streaming at this time. Natty with the three gifted subs to the channel and community. Wait, why are Raptor with the gifted sub to Googling? Yes, of course. Of course. Seriously, Natty, thank you so much for the three gifted subs. <laughs> The chair is fine. <laughs> She's gonna eat chocolate chips or circus peanuts. I threw out the rest of them. I would hate wasting stuff whenever I buy it, but there was no continuing to eat packing peanuts or whatever they are. No. This place reminds me way too much of, um, hey, of that movie, of the Phantom of the Opera. Uh, sea hags. Thanks for the sea hag, Sarah. Is that what it is? <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel and community. No, the only downside to streaming at this time is ow. No sunshine cuddles with Ginger. This is like when the sun's starting to set, and she just looks so cute in the sun. And normally, sometimes, like on my off days, I'll take a nap around this time with her, and she just lets me actually lay like right up on her. I miss it. The chair is awesome. The chair is night and day difference. Like before, I dreaded sitting down for long periods of time. But I... I... Wait, what's changing? But I really don't mind that much now. Like at all. It's so much comfier. How am I supposed to get in there? Hmm... Yeah, I've been talking about getting a new chair for, I think, two years. I think it's been two years. And I remember for my birthday, I specifically remember us talking about me getting a new chair. And I just couldn't decide. I was so indecisive. What time are we ending streaming? At 6.30 p.m. Um, have I had a load of my hair chopped off? No. It's actually longer than ever. <laughs> No. I think I can now need to go down here. Nope. Did I save right after? Oh, I did. But now I need to go back up. Okay, so we're just going all the way up. I hate when I see this stuff moving because I feel like... I feel like that area is changing, but it's not. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, that'll work, that'll work, that'll work. Okay. All right, we got it. Now that I can, like, actually sticky grip to the walls, it makes it a little bit easier. Uh, it's just my natural hair. I didn't, like, curl it or anything. You guys always say this when it's gray hair. Come here. No, 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 no. I will take my death. <gasps> no, I know I said that, but I didn't think I was actually gonna die. Oh my, just, all right, one more time. One more time. So done with this. I remember this area can be, who was talking? I don't know if they're here right now, but I remember somebody was talking about how this air, this game has like an interesting pace to it. And I will say that this is one of the frustrating paces. It feels very slow and then you're just annoyed by everything. 
solid. Did you just change your name color? There we go. That'll work. <laughs> Get away from me. I just need to save more often. Get closer. And done. All right, let's save at the top of here so I don't have to do this again. I hate the three projectiles because they can help. I always run into them. And you can't get close to them. They're everywhere. Okay, at least if they're stuck in the same position, they should be casting them in the same spot. Chair coming September 2024. That was ridiculous and I learned my lesson. I did learn my lesson. Oh gosh. What the heck? Okay, I feel like I remember. No, because if I need to get there. Okay, you just have to dodge it. Sneaky. I don't like it. That's not gonna work. Lord, what's up? Welcome back in. I gotta go right in between these. <laughs> I need to save. I don't trust it. What was the lesson? What do you mean what happened to my chair? I just upgraded it. Yeah, I'd had the same chair for about three years, but when I went full time with this, I obviously have been spending more time in this seat than anywhere else. So I finally, like before, it's not that I had a bad chair. The, um, what are they called? I can't remember. They're not memorable to me. The Secret Labs are, I, they're still a good brand and I've heard that the newer ones are better, but I wanted to go with an ergonomic chair to just help my posture over the long run. This one has like the right amount of lumbar support too. Like it is perfect. There really isn't anything I would change about this chair. Taking notes every death. Concordio, what's up? Welcome back in. Um, What's the one I got? I went with the Steel Series. Wait, Steel Case Series 2. And I, I do like it, but I think a lot of their chairs. I know uh, Natty also has one of their chairs. Hold on. Thank you. Ow. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. We need to save. We need to save. A, chair, a good chair is a good investment. We talked about this a lot, but two things that I think, especially if you're working from home or something, or you're spending a lot of time of your day in your seat, a good chair and a good bed. That's like my two things that I, the buy ones, cry ones. I know I don't need to kill him, but now it's personal, so I kind of do. And, oh, check this out. This is perfect. And let's go over here. And did I get, oh, you need three for that. What am I trying to, this one, the ultra soul link. So now I'll heal up two points every time we do that. Yay, this is goo goo. So I looked at the Herman Millers and it wasn't the cost that deterred me. I just didn't like any of the designs of the chair. Like I'm a very, I don't know, aesthetics are really important to me for an area that I'm spending so much of my time into. And although I didn't mind their gaming chair one, the reviews were actually really mixed on their gaming chair one. Oh man. Oh, it doesn't stick. <laughs> Hold on, can we appreciate <laughs> his little tail? Hold on, I gotta kill this guy so I can go appreciate sliding down this wall. Oh, it's so cute. 
Yeah. No, if you got one of their newer versions and if it fits for you, don't let me, don't let me and my weird gargoyle posture impact your decision for a chair and or your thoughts on your secret lab. I know a lot of people who are happy with them. I really do. I just have a horrible posture that needs correction immediately. Like I will say one thing I love about this chair is it's forcing me to actually sit comfortably, like comfortably with my legs like flat on, like my feet flat on the ground. Before with the secret labs, I always had to sit crisscross applesauce. Now I still do because it's just more comfortable to me, but I was thinking about how I feel like long-term sitting crisscross applesauce is probably not good for my knees. <laughs> No! <laughs> Toxic with the gifted sub to Nightbot. Ah, uh, yes. How could we forget Nightbot? Toxic, thanks for the gifted sub. And Falky with the no you. The no you was brought about because right now, now I'm sitting with my knee up. Hold on. I gotta grip this Wally. But I do like to sit with one, like, leg up, I guess. The crisscross applesauce. Alright. But you cannot tell me that's not the cutest thing ever. Look at this. Hold on. The gesture is so sick. Okay, ready? Look at his little tail. <laughs> I imagine that's... It looks like Ginger when she's sitting. Targaryen chair. I do like their styles. And one thing that I will really give to Secret Labs is I love the built-in headrest and chair. Like, together, it's really... I don't know. It just looks very clean. Oh, that's actually very smart. Ow! It's not very smart. Come here, frog. So ridiculous. Omega, I've been wanting to get something else. I would say definitely look into it. I've really enjoyed it, but I know there's a lot. It's not one of their more expensive models, but it also is still, I mean, I would say if you're starting to get over seven, even like $500 for a chair, make sure it's the one you really, really want. Um, I risky biscuit it and didn't try any chairs. I know a couple of you guys had suggested like going to an office depot or somewhere that you would actually be able to try them. And I just didn't have anything near me that had this chair up there to try. So I just sent it and it worked out. But if you do have a spot where you can try to like test it first, highly recommend. What is that? Oh, I've heard such good things about the purple cushions. Back support and armrests. So it's really a secret lab's chair at this point. I've heard really good things about the mattress for that. Office Depot has average chairs. Yeah, I just had like an Office Depot, I think, near me. What won't get stuck in your head? I know, I'm a, I'm interested in the House of Dragons or the the spinoff. I'm definitely interested. But I think I'm gonna try to hold out. No! I am gonna try to hold out until all of the episodes are out. I just can't. I, I hate I just did that with the Pretty Little Liars Original Sin series that just came out. And I watched it like while they were slowly releasing them and I hated it. It's so frustrating to me because I do just want to binge it. Oh, okay. I don't want to deal with this guy. I really... Yep. Sounds about right. There's a massive... You said you. Hold on. Stupid. I didn't realize how hard it was to stay stuck to these. I thought I just had sticky feet. Nice. There we go. So let's do this. Max HP. All because we cast a soul link. Um, I'll tell you what I want. When I really no, not today. Nice. Grab it too. This is a much more relaxing part though like I feel like it is 
it's slower paced, but it kind of has to be with how much they... <gasps> Mistakes were made. <laughs> oh, they thankfully give you a spot because they know that you won't make that jump every time. They have full, they have no faith in you. I have to binge watch it. I wanna, I wanna, no, Santres, hello. I wanna, really, really, really wanna. Let's kill this creature first. Oh, I should have known better. Let the bodies hit the floor. All right, grab them all. I feel like I should save around here. Mm, a lot of their furniture goes there. Oh, probably like all the excess Herman Millers and stuff like that. <gasps> Man, if you can get like one of those on sale or I know, I think this is a boss battle. I know a lot of people who have been fortunate enough to get a chair from their office because they were upgrading office chairs for the entire place. Nice, that was good. Nice. One down. Oh, okay, let's let him cast his thing at us, and then... Oh, I didn't factor in the distance. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. All right, launch it, like, right there. I will hit him with his own... There. Maybe it's not possible. Ow! It's gotta be. Nice. Nice. Oh, I could have air glided too. I wasn't using the air glide at all. Mm, I gotta watch it weekly to enjoy. Wait, wait. To enjoy the talk week by week about it. Oh, yeah, like the, the Reddit threads about it. Mmm, I wonder, I always think about this, I always wonder if episode 8 wasn't as disappointing when you were watching it episode by episode instead of binging it, but I just think it was disappointing all around. <laughs> Show him who's boss. You have no power here. <laughs> Alright, what am I supposed to do with this? Oh no. I'm not taking it back over there. Pick it back up, pick it back up. Okay. Yeah, if these misty woods wouldn't mind helping me out. Wow, we're all the way back here. That's really cool. Tell me about the quarry. You really want to start this right now? Ow! I need to jump over it. It's not difficult. <laughs> oh. Oh, that jump seems so difficult to do. What happened at the quarry? I'd like story time. I feel like my chat is so tired of hearing about quarry. I just dis I was disappointed on every single level possible, but the most disappointment of it all was the fact that I did a basically, what was it, like 11, 12 hour stream to celebrate my four year anniversary, and that was the game I played. I'm gonna die. That was the tragedy. That's the garbage game I decided to play for my anniversary. But yeah, if you ever want to see my game reviews, I put up, um, I try to be fairly quickly about it, but there's the longer games, I'm having a harder time keeping it short but i do little like totally just my own personal feelings about some of the games that i've played the quarry's a meme here i just so many people talk that game up too afterwards i want to know if these people actually enjoyed it or they're just saying it it hurts it was so painful <laughs> anytime i hear the word quarry i relate it to maggie hating it <laughs> I've never heard such cringy dialogue, and I've seen a lot of questionable things. All right, finally. <gasps> Grab it. 
We lit the shrouded lantern. It lifted the haze. Ori, the key to the forlorn ruins. The Guman seal has been revealed. Where was it? Yay! You found the Guman seal. Using this key, you can gain entrance to the forlorn ruins. But there's probably a lot of stuff that I did miss over here. The element of the winds is deep within the forlorn ruins, south of this place. It's not too far from here. I can show you the way. Show me the way. It's a nice ceremony. It definitely looks like a uh, sacrificial stone of some sort, but we don't have any companions with us in this game, so nobody's being sacrificed today. Find the Guman seal hidden in the mystery woods. Mmm. Okay. All right. So, how much did I... Okay, wow. Was that... That was not the real size of this. There's no way that this was the actual map that happened. Diesel drinking duck, welcome back in. There is no way. I refuse to believe it. Toxic with the gifted sub to... To... De <laughs> to defeat the Huns. Yeah, that's all I, ah, I gotta go. Grabbing this. Let me just quickly get out of this hell. I don't want it. I don't need it. We go now. I don't think the bird is here anymore so we can drop down, I'm pretty sure. Uh, plain Ori. Guess I can buy in for 20 minutes or so. Is this wholesome? Hold on one second. This is the it's My allergies. I don't know what's going on today. I've been sneezing a lot. But I don't know if it's like... Is it possible to start becoming allergic to cats even after having a cat for so long? <sighs> you must be swift. Did they send me daughters? No, don't start this chat. Thank you, Cyanide. I'm never gonna catch my breath. Say goodbye to those who knew me. Uh, no, Moon. And there's actually a foreseen river down below. A map piece. We have two now. Oh my, jeez. Oh, reflect. Yeah, you like that. Okay, first of all, this one should not be able to hit me through the floor. Oh yeah, are you serious? Is this, this is real? I am so over this. Send me. Send me home. Take me home. Mossy road. I still need to go back to Minecraft and finish my dirt road. Okay, I'm gonna save right here. I should save down at the bottom though. No, Ginger doesn't go outside at all. Or just cat hair itself, but not something. Yeah, no, she, she does not go outside. I try to take her out in the snow once a year and she hates it. Hates it. Hope he doesn't see right through me. Now I really wish that I... All right, not happening. Abysmal boxes, welcome back in. This is such a relaxing, peaceful game until it's not. So next thing you know, frogs are trying to shoot at you. Yeah, you like that. It's not so fun, is it? Wow, he just keeps sending them. How is he able to send so many? Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, we got one. We gotta kill this one. So he can't hit us. 
there's one more. These frogs are so vicious. Why don't we watch Mulan instead? Because I want to see prey. Y'all are all talking it up like it's the bee's knees. And I... Oh, I could have just jumped down there. I didn't actually have to do with him. Nice. I am getting more and more interested in... Um... Oh, man. What's that new game that just came out? The Souls-esque style game. Oh, he's sending multiple. Amesia, yeah. I watched a video on it today. Like a, I guess really just like the gameplay reveal and it actually looked really good. I might have been quick to dismiss it. We're not going this way. What the heck? Okay, maybe I am. League? No. I frustrated musical theater gamer <laughs> on a whole nother level. Oh crap, okay. Let's save right here. Uh, it would have been more frustration if it had been Hamilton, but I can usually fight the will to sing Mulan. Am I gonna play Quarry too? Daddy Long Nuts, I'll catch you later. Thanks for hanging around and have a good one. Um. If there is a Quarry 2, I, I don't think there could be anything, anything that would get me to play that thing. If that happens, they really need to rethink. The, the sad part is, is it did great. It was successful. A lot of people liked it. Maybe I just don't connect with, <laughs> like I don't connect with my, um, it was the dialogue, but I just don't, that can't be like real conversations that take place these days. Can it? I mean, I guess it could be. It's just, uh, what was the best one? The more, the courier. <sighs> I'm already, I'm already a little scared about the next, um, what is the uh, anthology series game? Those are always very hit or miss. I, I do feel like those have never been that great to begin with, I will say. I feel like the quality of those games, they're trying really hard to push out a lot of them. Like, I want to like them, but I really only liked Little Hope. Woo! I can't believe that worked. I did not think I was going. What? How am I supposed to get him to? Okay. Okay. I will bite casually. What's up? Welcome back in. Hello. Whoa. Uh. Really? Well, there are over 180 possible endings in Quarry, and all of them include the same cringy dialogue, Godless. And welcome back in. I'm just upset a lot of people like something she hates. One, I'm used to that, okay? I'm actually used to that being a thing. Uh, two, I just feel like... No, I'm not upset that people actually like it. I just... Maybe I was trying to dissect it too much. Like, maybe I was hoping for something different, or maybe I'm high maintenance when it comes to horror games. I expect too much from a trashy slasher. I think it's because I have so much respect and admiration for that genre that I can't just sit there and be like, yeah, this is quality content. Like, ah. I'm used to, we, you guys remember, we even went back to Until Dawn to discover if the dialogue... If the dialogue was actually cheesy, or if Until Dawn was like that too, and it was just nostalgia holding that one up. But Until Dawn did not have nearly... The same horrible dialogue. 
And Tajan is still their greatest game. You know, I'm kind of surprised by that too because I think they had a lot to work off of. And while it's always a fun playthrough to play those scary games, and I like that they're not the chasing horror games that um, the Outlast series are or a lot of other, like it did bring a cool story-based twist to the genre but it just feels like they haven't really had anything that's been as heavy hitting as as until what until dawn was and i guess if you're gonna say things like quarry is supposed to be a spiritual successor to until dawn my expectations are gonna be high i can't help it the only thing i liked about the quarry was brenda's song who isn't even in it that much she's not even in it that much I just think maybe we should have reflected on the budget situation and I keep doing this. I keep letting him kill me right there. Well, hear me out. We put more budget into the writing, the writers, and less into the big name actors. They thought crazy, probably a bad idea. You guys are probably right. Factory plays Dylan streams on Twitch. I did not know that. I started all this talk about Quarry Joyful. Hello. <laughs> Keeping it real. I I mean, for what it's worth, you guys will know when I really don't like something because you can always refer back to Quarry. <laughs> I'll hydrate in a second. Hold on. I did not know that. That's kind of cool. I wasn't a fan of the dialogue of Until Dawn either, but Until Dawn had a better story. I didn't mind the... Uh, it was... That one felt more like it successfully hit the cheesy dialogue, whereas Cory is just cringy. Cringy and cheesy are drastically different. It's getting mm -hmm. heated. The trilogy was too low budget and the Cory failed to live up to expectations. Yeah. I do feel like they spent most of their budget for actors though. I think what's really cool about some of the horror movies too, like if you look back at the original slashers, like um, one, Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, Halloween, like there's huge actors now who weren't huge when they were casted in that. Like that's why they probably were in the horror movie in the first place was a lot of actors do get their start up on horror films or they used to at least, but Johnny Depp in, he was so young. Um, and then of course you have, um, I'm blanking on her name right now. <gasps> Who plays Laurie Strode all the time? I'm blanking. I'm blanking. Maybe they should put everyone from Sweet Life of Zack and Cody in it. <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis, yes. I especially find it interesting too, while having big name actors probably does bolster the hype surrounded by the game. Hype cannot, well, Actually, unfortunately, I think hype can actually carry a game. Because if you just have a lot of sales, like you can definitely do it. Oh, I remember this part. <laughs> I guess Quarry might be proof that you can. Until Dawn had Hayden Panettiere. Yeah, she did. And she did have um the other guy. But she, I don't know, Hayden Panettiere, I guess she did used to be like she it is still, but she was a pretty big actress. It's not, I'm not against people who use larger actors, especially because I think it's great for the exposure of the game. Johnny Depp in Edward Scissorhands. Yeah, but he did that pretty, he did that well after. Jennifer Aniston in Leprechaun. Yes, I almost forgot about that. I did. Depp was in the first Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, that was one of his first. Peter Jackson pretty much only made low budget horror films before he directed Lord of the Rings. I did not know that. I did, wow. What kind of low budget, like which ones do you know? Rami was in Until Dawn. Yeah, but I feel like Rami, Rami wasn't as large of an actor. But I think we've talked about this before. I think he was and I just don't remember what he's been in. Brenda's song was, so was Ariel. 
I no, I'm saying until dawn has big. I'm saying until dawn has big. I'm sorry, not until dawn. Um, I am saying that Quarry had a lot of big name actors and actresses. She was big in Heroes. I do remember. I need him to come over here. But that one keeps respawning too. Ah! I need to figure this out. Yeah, but was Mr. Robot before or after that? I'm trying to remember. Hype can carry game, but only for so long. The game will have a great initial sales, but will die quickly after. But still, if you look at the reviews of Quarry all around, like maybe I'm just, I, I'm definitely in the minority on the feelings that it wasn't really good. I just felt like it was too much of a movie. Like even more to this day, I think Until Dawn had the most choice choices that you could make. Maybe not as many different endings and things, but it definitely felt less like a movie and more like I was actually determining the outcome of the... Oh. Ah! How am I supposed to... I feel like I'm missing a move. Like I thought... I thought I was gonna find... He didn't direct anything recognizable. I usually avoid games that are overhyped because they tend to be the biggest letdowns, except for, and I stand by Elden Ring. I mean, I did try to have like zero expectations for it, but Elden Ring seriously crushed every expectation I had. And I didn't even mind that they delayed their, I know what I have to do. I just don't think I have the strength to do it. And he's not coming over here. Ow. And then this guy. I'm missing something. I'm definitely missing something. He's right there. Sir. What am I missing? Oh, it's up there. I'm such a I'm such a goof. Come here. Alright, I gotta ignore this one. I'm such a goof. Come here. We gotta get the frog to come over. <laughs> I'm ridiculous. And there we go. I was also insanely distracted. Crust for me hit big as Freddie Mercury. That's where I feel like a lot of people know him more now than even Mr. Robot. But I do remember that was a good film. Yeah! Hate to see it, but you still see it. All right, there we go. I got him. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back and look at some of the horror movies he's done because I have seen some really questionable horror movies. I did not know that. So why did they go with him then if he didn't have a lot of, I guess, I don't, did he know somebody? Like he had to have known somebody. So he definitely insta- <laughs> Yeah. Yes. So, oh, that's so cool. I think a lot of it was just to do with him being from New Zealand. He had a good vision for it, possibly. I need to break that, but how? The hype certainly brought along expectations for the quarry. It was because they they really did try to make it like a Until Dawn somewhat successor. What is that? Oh! How do I get him to... I need him to break that. But... Uh, buddy? The exploding rolly ball. Oh. 
He can't make it up. Oh no. It's an uphill battle. Man, Victor, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel and community. Our poor guy. How am I supposed to get him to launch straight off? Oh no. I know I need to save. But I can't save with him right here. There we go. Our poor guy. I think he might be. There we go. He might be broken. I have seen the trailer. RVV, thanks, by the way. All right, maybe if I just stand over here. Look, I'm sorry, buddy, but you really got to step it up. No, I'll have to figure it out. It's fine. It's probably supposed to somehow go over there. Okay. The little lanterns. Uh, I can't break through here. Wouldn't it be so sick if you could save from this side, like as long as you're close to it? It was kind of the perfect storm. He got given a huge budget for the entire trilogy and pretty much... Wait, wait, which pretty much never happens. Oh, like being given that much. I, I forget how much it cost to make those. I'm sure it got more expensive as it went along too. And you know what's even with the 4G look, going back and looking at it, the orcs, they're starting to look questionable, no doubt, the quality, but I thought the 4K was still really good. I remember seeing the third one um, in theater. I specifically remember that. It was so magical. All right, guys, I don't think I can go in the cold water. Let's, oh, I can't even save. He can go in cold water? I don't know why I thought differently, but it just still surprised me. Was on the way to being pretty respected director by the time Lord of the Rings came out. Plus, he owned his own VFX studio, so the cost of the film was significantly cheaper than it would have been. Huh. That is kind of like the perfect storm, though. If he had his own... Uh, I need to get across this way. I mean, he ended up doing an incredible job. I was reading the stuff. I don't think it was accurate, but they were trying to say that, I guess, like, I think it was just drama, but it was like, he was like, not even given the opportunity to do the Amazon trilogy, or maybe he didn't want to or something. Once lush and green, now covered in ice. Hmm. <gasps> Oh, I almost... Ooh. All right, I gotta get back. Oh, no! That was on me. Completely. And utterly on me. I don't know why I was even going like that when I can glide with this thing. I always forget. What is the sippy? I like that ice part, I think, the most just because I like the cold. I feel like when you do <laughs> when you do play cold environments in games, you just feel colder though. Wasn't he super disappointed about the CGI used in the Hobbit movie? I thought so, but didn't he he I thought he also directed the Hobbit. Did he want to do something else instead? I don't think he wanted to do the Amazon show. He absolutely did not want to direct the Hobbit films, but he was basically begged into doing it by the studio. His heart wasn't in it. That's disappointing too, because I feel like you need to have that passion to really bring to life what um, the fans are expecting. Only if there's like a burger with it. Those who didn't escape paid with their lives. The Gumman Seal. Wow, look at all the. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. It reminds me of that cold area in God of War. Frost punk during the winter with open windows, you had the complete immersion. <laughs> mm. Okay. This is. The Forlorn Ruins. Here's where the Gumman live. They built miraculous structures and infused them with the light of the spirit tree, which keeps them safe. 
Oh no. These Gumon were frozen and unable to escape. When the element of winds lost its light, these ruins must have turned into their grave. No! Not the Gumon. Oh, I wonder if we'll see Gumo. Okay, I just got burnt by that. Oh yeah. No pizza. They were discussing bringing back Stanley Kubrick into it, but he insisted on what? Genetically engineering actual hobbits for authenticity. Wow. You gotta give him credit for that. Hmm. Actual hobbits for authenticity. Uh, imagine having hobbit feet too. Jeez. The Gumen were crafty inventors. They had foreseen a bright future that never came. Look at this light vessel. They were able to store the light of the spirit tree within. Can we use that? Yes. Check out Peter Jackson's earlier stuff. I will definitely look into it because I hadn't heard of that at all. <gasps> Hannah! Oh my gosh! I haven't seen you in so long. Hannah with the raid. Hannah, hello, and thank you so much for the continual support for 43 months in a row. Oh man, browse up. This is a raid. <laughs> Guys, seriously, welcome in. And also, if you're my channel, please go check out Hannah. She is absolutely one of my longest long-term friends on Twitch and just truly an amazing person and also a variety streamer. And she loves Star Wars, which I mean, who doesn't, right? Tammy, what's up? Welcome in. Warner, hello. Following guys, seriously, welcome in. And Invis, hi. Hannah, how have you been? You were just playing Elden Ring? Oh man, how are you loving it? How are you loving it? Guys, if you're new to the channel, my name is Maggie Orcasta, and I like cats, Taco Bell, the gym, and donuts. <laughs> and that's me. I just played uh, Elden Ring earlier. Following, thanks for the follow as well, and welcome to the channel and community. I gotta remember how to do this. Agent, no. Hold on, I gotta remember how to do this. You guys, if y'all recall, this was my worst part last time. Um, <laughs> first of all, how far are you? And also, don't worry if you have to raid and dash. I totally understand. Mm. Are you... Agent. <sighs> oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. Hold on. Let me grab it again. All right. I can't let go of it. I need to... All right. Here we go. This is a meme. Don't actually ask me about Quarry. I get so mad about it. Don't do it. Okay, I can still attack while I'm doing this. Hannah, you've played this game, right? Okay, we need to drop the bulb. Nice. I think this will go a lot better than last time. <laughs> Invis, I'm doing really well. I'm almost back to where I stopped on this game. So that's why it's kind of like a first play-ish, but I am. Yeah. I should have saved too. Damn it. Let's grab this. It's gonna make me do it all over again. I need to save right after. This is where you tried to get Chad to help you. <laughs> I was not figuring out how to control it using the thing to go back and forth. I know. Another streamer I followed hated it and said it was a waste of money. Not only did I feel like it was a waste of money, it was a waste of my time and it was by far the cringiest dialogue I've ever experienced in any movie, in every, any game. Like, I will stand by this. I will stand by this. Cyrus, what's up? Welcome in. Thanks for the follow. Hi. Ah, so, so, so good. That's crazy. Yeah, I was, we were just talking about Quarry too, because since one of my mods added the thing, the tag into it, people keep asking, but I was just so disappointed by it. And then I even went back to Until Dawn to make sure I wasn't just having delusions. Ah, I'm dead. Did I save? Drop it. Let me save right here. Okay, let's save real quick. Yeah, this is where I tried to get chat to help me and it didn't help. <laughs> I think they did end up helping. This was probably my least favorite area. Okay, so if I'm gonna do this, 
I think I'm gonna have to jump across. I wonder if I can drop it and grab the other one. Hannah, where are you at in Elden Ring and Invis? I'm still very much enjoying content creation full time now. I am. Mm. Trying to figure this out. I guess I just need to go now and then jump right there. It's just a matter of timing on that. Uh, Agent Danger, thanks for the follow. I'm glad to see you're enjoying the channel and community. And again, welcome in. I shouldn't have done that because I... Damn it. Cray up. I need to stay up there. Bad news bears. Okay, I'm gonna save here and see. Because we have that power. To add tags? Is it just Vert? It's probably just Vert doing it. What she's trying to say is Maggie like that so Raven more than Corey in the house. Funny. That one was good. That one was good. I wish it was better. I really... I wanted it to be so much better. Oh, I don't like this. Yeah! All right, let me start back over here. Okay. We can do this. <laughs> Every time I look over at the... Go, 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 go. <gasps> Woo! Whoop, there it is. All right, so we just need to stay up top and... All right. I don't know why this feels so difficult to do. It's just, it feels like I'm playing inverted. Ow. Yeah. And drop down. Yeah. Oh, we absolutely crushed him. I appreciate that. Happy to hear it. It was quite a step. It was definitely a leap of faith. It was certainly that. I jumped between areas, but defeated Renella. Okay, nice. Now I'm glad. You have to let me know when you're about to fight Melania because I need to see that fight. I definitely need to see you fight her. It still is one of my favorite games. I, let me drop this real quick. I really want to go back and do a challenge run for it. Like a no level up run, probably parry a little bit. Yeah, Invis, I've been spending a lot of time too um, recording videos for YouTube and that's been really fun as well because it's a Oh, great. It's allowed me to focus on uh, a couple more story-based games. I just did The Walking Dead Telltale and it was so good. It was so much fun. It is a calm platformer. I mean, look, you saw me getting aggravated, but... I think I get mostly aggravated by my own lack of saves and inability to understand just simple, just overcomplicating. Probably my need to overcomplicate every decision. All right. I'm happy with where we're at. I'm definitely happy with this. So oh, this is where it's going to get confusing. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. Saha, oh hey. Uh, do like carrying, do like a max carrying weight run? Would always be overcumbered? Heck no. I I guess I want to do a no level up run for Elden Ring just because I've done that for all the other Souls games that I've completed. So that's kind of like, it's like a tradition at this point. I feel like I just didn't think there would be this much combat. Oh, just wait. It's not the combat that gets me. This part? Oh. <sighs> this is hell. It's like the, uh... I will say that there's really clever, I guess is the right word, um, mechanics in this game. Ian, welcome back in. Hello. Oh, man. And this is my worst. I'm so bad at projecting, like, where to jump, but, like, the distance. <gasps> <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh. Can I first try this? Oh. Hey, listen. I don't know. The performer, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel and community. All right, pop a save right there. 
Okay, I gotta figure out how to do this. How about a dance pad only run? Ah, uh, she did it for Elden Ring, didn't she? I'm pretty sure she did. It's kind of chill, but you also die a lot, like a lot more than a Souls game. <laughs> Andrews, what's up? Welcome back in. I mean, it feels like I have died more than I did in Elden Ring. If you subtract Melania deaths, I don't think I actually died that much in Elden Ring. That much. So now I have to go over here and to get that piece that we were looking at. Oh, first of all, we're going to have to be tall. <laughs> all right. Let's wait for that to fall. Yeah. All right. I just need to dodge all of these. Such a curious game. Huh. I need to jump one more time. Nice. Ow! Ah! I should not have done that. I should have just dropped down and started from... I just didn't want to have to... Ah! I didn't want to have to jump back down and go the other way. Like, I would have rather gone this way. Ow, ow, ow. Ew! All right, let's just die real quick. Start over. Archer, thanks for the hydrate. It's already almost 6.30. She's going for distance. She's going for speed. Okay. All right, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Need to not accidentally press. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, clean. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. Let it fire off the next one. I'm not in water. I don't know how to really... <gasps> Let's go. This is what I meant to do the first time around. No, I'm not in water. I'm actually in like a really frozen wasteland. So it's just hard because no matter like whatever direction you are, you have to, <gasps> you have to like use the right and left, but ah! and then there's that. And then there's the winter winds. <laughs> so many deaths inbound. Uh -huh. I didn't. I'm trying to jump up, and for some reason, it's like not picking that up, and it's just launching me in between them. Come on, we got this. I'm gonna have to wait for it to come back around, unfortunately. All right, so see the pieces up there behind that one? That's gonna be so hard to get. Uh, Auto Tech, what's up? Welcome back in. I'm loving it. It's really amazing. And I don't know if I'm gonna play it directly after. I've gotta see. There we go. So this was the confusing part. So look at this. You would think that the winds would just send you over, but now that I have this, I can go like this, and then I can jump like this. Tell me that it does not make sense. I'm scared to do it now. Ah! Oh, no, I'm pressing the wrong things. See? Okay. <laughs> I don't know when that got started. All right, let's try again. Oh. So cast and platformers was a true system. Who would have thought? <laughs> Not me. I've only played two other platformers, actually. Statement. Who would have thought I would have played? Boz, welcome back in. Agreeable, hello, welcome back in. And yes, you got gifted. <gasps> Wow. <laughs> okay, we got it. We got it. And then this is what we're going to do. We're going to drop our... Yeah, and then let's save right there. And then let's pick it back up. I'm not messing with that. 
This is so, uh, Nis, what's up? Welcome back in. I do want to play Will of the Wisps. So this is kind of like where I talked about this yesterday, but I... I have today, well, I have 15 more minutes and then I have tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday to play games. And then I'll be gone Wednesday, Thursday, and then I stream Friday. So I have four streams left um, before I go on my last vacation. So I'm trying to not start games that are gonna, like I wanna play games that are gonna be able to be completed before I leave. And so I think at this pace, I think I can complete this Monday. I was talking all, uh, I was talking a lot of shit and I think I was saying I could complete it by tomorrow, but all right. Hold on. So I need to go that way. All right, so we need to go like this and then go like that. And then this is where I get confused. Do I need to jump over? I think I need to jump over here. No. Oh. Oh. All right, let's drop that and then go over here and then I can, oh nice, let's use the map. And let's save, let's save. Um, so I think if I started Will-O-Wisp, I wouldn't finish it in time. I think I'll be able to finish this Tuesday. Yeah, I'm gonna be gone for a week-ish. I think we'll end up being a couple extra days because that's also Labor Day weekend. Uh, hold on, drop it, drop it, drop it. I don't, I don't want it. Save, yeah. I do like platformers. I haven't played them in like a long time. So I'm I'm definitely happy to be back. All right, send it. Just send it. These are thick spiders. They're definitely thick spiders. No, a uh, cooler climate. I, I was talking about it, but I'm going uh, to Alaska. Back to Alaska. I think it, this is close to where I stopped last time. I think this is pretty much exactly where I stopped last time. I I think. Halfway through the game. Yeah, because what? We're halfway to the next part out of the three pieces. I think, Wookie, what's up? Welcome back in. Yeah, lots of spoilers. All right, so we're gonna pick this up. I did save. So let me think about how this is gonna work. I have to, oh, no, no. <laughs> ow, grab it, grab it. All right, so this, I need to go back to this. This is what's tripping me up. So we need to go around here and then we need to go back, oh crap. So we need to jump and then go back this way. And then to do this, I need to go, okay. I need to jump and then go this way. <gasps> no, again. I have to, to try it all over again. Ow. All right, I have to hit that. You have, according to Soup, you have one more hour left. Soup, you're never gonna live that down, dude. <laughs> one hour left and what kills me is it wasn't even you that actually said that. <laughs> Always getting blamed. It's currently 6.20 PM. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I've never, I've never gotten to experience Denali, so I'm really excited to go. Oh man, is mayonnaise an instrument? Why did that pop into my head? I have no idea, but here we are. Yes, okay, save. <laughs> this is good, this is good. Very good, very good. Yes, I'm gonna be posting a lot of pictures of that trip um, and I'm gonna try to do, so I'm still working on the vlog from Key West and just like a little video to show you guys what I got to do and where I went. For Alaska, I'm still going to try to take some footage, but um, my mom is not a big fan of, she just doesn't wanna be on camera or anything. Like she just wants to keep her privacy and stuff, which I totally respect. So I don't know how much footage I'm gonna get, but I'm gonna try to take like, I'm gonna try to take a decent amount. Alaska of all places, has Red Dead gotten you into bear hunting? It's the last frontier, baby. I spent a summer in Alaska when I was in the army and it was super neat. So I don't know what to expect with August. I think it's gonna be pretty rainy. I think it's like the rainy season. Only serial killers own cats. <laughs> You'll never know. Red Dead has been getting to me though. I told you guys, I just wanna, 
get a little bit of land, have my chickens, have my family with me, and I'll be happy. It's all I need. It's all I need. I'm actually gonna get to see reindeer for the first time. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. I also didn't get to see like a real moose. Every everybody kept talking about how like I was gonna see these moose when I went up there. Nothing. Nothing. It was utterly disappointing. What did the jellyfish sting feel like? Um It kind of felt like a really intense rug burn. <laughs> I feel like that's not the best description, but that's kind of how it felt like to me. It was really painful when it first happened, like a cute, like an insane stinging feeling. And then it just had this lasting. I still actually have like some marks from it. All right, we need to get that back. All right, I guess it follows you wherever you go. Gary, what's up? Welcome back in. It was the first time I've been stung by a jellyfish, though. And hopefully the last time. <laughs> Woo! All right, let me see if I can do this first try. Ah! <laughs> no, that is not a first try. Probably windy and rainy, like over here. I noticed northern Sweden and Alaska have almost the same weather. I also saw that there was just recently, unfortunately, I think it's probably done now, but I saw there was a huge um, time period where the northern lights were really visible recently. Like it was, I didn't really get to see them the last time I went either. But I went in like the dead of winter last time. Ninja, maybe I'll get to see northern lights up there. I really hope so because I feel like I, nope. so close. Haven't seen northern exposure. I have, is it? I, what is that? I don't, if it's like a TV show, definitely not. Northern exposure? What is it? Frozen toast. Frozen, thank you so much for the five month resub. Seriously, and welcome back in. <laughs> not good old frozen toast. You gotta love it. Uh, no worries, Invis, no worries. I'll catch you later. Thanks for stopping by and hanging around, and I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. It's an old TV show. No, I haven't seen that one. I have not seen it. All right, right there. Nice, 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 nice. Actually, let us drop this. Nope, we're not dropping it. Okay, go, go, go. A doctor who moves to a small town in Alaska. Well, is he happy? Is he happy with his move? Kind of reminds me of, uh... It's a show on Netflix called Virgin River. Oh, very balls of fire. I didn't even time that right. Fireball, welcome back in, Sue. Was a TV show set in Alaska with a bush pilot actually named Maggie? That's funny. There are a lot of bush pilots up there. <laughs> So like Heart of Dixie. Oh man, I love Heart of Dixie. I am so glad you said that, Raging. You just exposed so much about yourself now. I know it all now. Over here, they start coming and being visible right before the first snow. I have so many pictures of it. Oh, I really, really hope I see something, but I know August is kind of a weird weather time for it. Well, the last time I went, it was in just, it was Christmas time last year to January. Um, and the winds were just crazy. Like, crazy. Okay, so the way we're gonna do this is kill this frog first, because... Ow! It's always the plebs. Going to a club in Alaska and before the sun went down and coming out after it was up. I was only there for like an hour. <laughs> there was a, uh, there was like a post that was like going out in the summertime late at night. Blue Ranger, I'll catch you later, by the way. Um, 
Ah, uh, no, hold on. I don't want to get scorched. Oh, I'm getting scorched. <laughs> um, and it was like, yeah, going out in the middle of summer out to the bars and it was like bright. Like the sun was completely up. I hope I can go like more in the summertime at some point because there are more things I'd want to explore. I don't know if we're going, so I'm just trying to take my mom mainly to Denali. I'm trying to think what else is on our list. There's some really beautiful glaciers too, even during the summertime. Hold on. Ooh. I need extreme concentration and focus. That still hit me. Got him. All right, so I believe if I'm correct, I need to jump up and then let go of it. No, I need to just keep going. I'm, oh my, oh, great balls of fire. Save, save. You cannot create a save. <laughs> I, you have to make it through this entire area. Um, it'd be really cool to see some whales. Okay, that's my opportunity right there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, how am I gonna... I need to kill that guy first. This is gonna be so annoying. I need to go like this, go like this, and now go this way. Shred! Holy beans, I feel like I haven't seen you in a while. Hello, yes, Shredman, welcome back in. I was about to say, it has been such a long time. Hello. Thank you so much for the continual support for 14 months in a row as well, hi. Wow. Wow, okay. I don't know how close we are to a safe point. I think we have to stop here for today, y'all. Unfortunately, I think we have to stop here for today because we have movie night. It's at seven, right? Movie night's at seven or is it at eight? Wait, am I crazy and it's actually at eight? I'm trying to remember my own schedule. I think it is at seven. Okay. All right, guys. This, I did not mean to do such a short stream. For some reason, I still thought it was going to be like five hours. I don't know why. Yeah, I'm gonna be streaming Prey in the Discord. So anybody who's in the Discord or if you wanna hop in and watch Prey with us, we just sit on the cast a couch and then we like mute while we watch it, but then we'll message in the VC. But yes, you guys have been talking so much like amazing stuff about this movie. Although I'm hoping I like it, even though I haven't seen any of the Predators, I think it will still be overall a good movie, right? Should be. Oh, it's so weird to end stream after three and a half hours. I could have sworn the game just saved, so I think you're good. Um, I just had a, I just had my own save too, so I think we are good. I think we're safe. You said Mulan? No, <laughs> no. I'm sorry, this one is a little bit shorter, but I'll try to do a little bit longer of a stream tomorrow. Um, but I'm starting again at 3 p.m. tomorrow as well, and I just hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. I can't thank you guys enough for taking the time out of y'all's lives to be here and spend time with the community and all. There were so many resubs and also conversion from gifted to to their own subs, and I really appreciate the support. So thank you guys so much. I saw it without seeing Predator and enjoyed it. Okay, good. Okay, awesome. Well, hopefully, I know it's a little bit of, I think a lot of you guys have already seen it, but it would be fun to experience together. So thank you guys so much for another incredible stream. I will see you guys tomorrow. Movie night starts at seven. So I'm gonna try to go grab some food. I don't think I even have time to run out because I also got to push my uh, my next episode of The Walking Dead as well. So that's going up tonight at 7. So yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow for some more Ori. I'm hoping to finish tomorrow if we do a long stream. Who am I kidding? I just took three and a half hours to get like 10% further in the game. So <laughs> I have a feeling we'll be completing this on Tuesday. Okay, yeah, not Monday. But yeah, I'll be back with this game tomorrow. Bobby, good night. Jangles, good night. All of my mods, thank you so much. Moon, good night. Falky, good night. Orion, good night. 
Why is it doing that? Oh, that's so weird. Taken by the wind. Good night. Thanks for hanging around. Tobin, good night. 9 p.m. for us euros. Yes, 9 p.m. It's still bright outside. I'm not used to this ending time. I'm not either. I'm not used to restaurants being open still when I'm done streaming. Tobin, Orion, Hazelot, good night. Bobby again, Checkered, good night. Rowers, good night. Tay, Brenston, Natty. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your weekend. Shremin, good night. Czar. It'll be a three hour intro tomorrow. So who knows when you'll finish? Don't put that juju. I will make it three hours just to spite you, Zar. I'll do it. Homo sapien, good night. RBV, good night. Dawn, good night. Benji, Pate, good night. Status quo, boss. All right, guys. I will catch y'all. DC, good night. Moon, good night. Rowers, Mr. Mojo. All right, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Or hopefully I see you guys on the couch. Your dick's small. Thank you. Thank you. Tay, good night too. Turbo, good night. Beats Bomber, referable. No, I got to jet off because I got to get that stuff. I got to get a lot of stuff done in the next 28 minutes. So I will catch you guys tomorrow. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed a slightly earlier stream time. So we'll see about tomorrow. But yeah, have a great rest of your weekend if I don't see you. And bye.